All right, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here, gonna be streaming some Pokemon trading card game online today. Pretty excited about the new format here. Got a lot of fun decks to play today. Uh, getting ready for the Philadelphia Regional Championships, which I'm going to be going to. It's in just over a week, so still getting everything prepared and ready for that. Should be a good time. What's up everybody, how you guys doing? Hey, what's up, what's up? <clears throat> I'm going to be streaming some PTCGO here. Uh, I've got a couple early favorites here in my testing for Philadelphia Regionals. I really like uh, Vicaray. I really like uh, Gardevoir as well. And then there are... <coughs> Sorry, guys. I uh, just got done teaching, so I've been teaching all day. So definitely got a little bit of a tired voice. Did I pick a deck? Did I... What am I doing here? I I don't remember picking a deck. Let's Let's... I don't like that. I just like blacked out for a second and I feel like I already got myself into a game. So did I pick? Oh, I guess I was playing with Zoropod. Uh, let's uh, let's play a game with uh, Vika Ray first. OK, let's pl let's play that. So we're going to play Vika Volt Rayquaza. That seems to be kind of most people's favorite decks right now. So pretty stoked on that. I think Vika Volt Rayquaza is very good and I think that it is kind of the deck to beat right now in standard format it's just uh you know very strong has uh just that early aggression it's so easy to set up vega volt with this deck and to, to just start accelerating just an obnoxious number of energy on to your rayquazas and with that built-in tempest it is just like way too good as we can see from the starting hand here this is just absolutely fantastic everything that you wanted hey zach appreciate it i saw that you joined appreciate that zach thank you so much for the support and what's up everybody in the chat thank you guys for coming and hanging out i think that this little dedene here is a boss right now fat cheeks dedene i cannot believe that this is like a playable card. I remember seeing this thing when the set first came out and just thinking to myself like, wow, this is like some hilarious artwork. I can't believe it. But now it's actually finding our way into decks, which is amazing. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna start off with a Lily here. I don't think that there's actually any harm in putting this Dedenne down just to Lily for a few more cards. So gonna get a turn one Lily for like eight. That's unfortunate. You kind of, uh, you know, want the rare candy there, but I actually don't even mind tempesting this hand eventually. If that's just the way that we got to go, then that is the way that we got to go. So no qualms there. Uh, no point in using the escape rope or anything. We're just going to go ahead and pass. Just going to go ahead and pass. What's up, JW Creewall? Number one NA is in the chat. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, my good friend, JW, I'm pretty sure he's still number one NA. I don't know if anybody's passed him. Pretty sure. Are you number one in the world, JW? Uh, he may be number one in the world even. He uh, he got back-to-back, -back, what, top fours? Was it back-to-back -back top fours? He got top four at, what, Valencia or something? Uh, the special event. And then JW also top four the Nashville Open, right? So he top four two huge events back to back which was amazing so shout out to jw making his comeback very strong he's doing awesome so far so definitely definitely cool for jw looks like i am playing against some sort of buzzwall deck here so let's see what we got uh that was an unfortunate uh an unfortunate top deck there that's not the kind of top deck that you want with this deck here you know obviously we want a rare candy if we had a rare candy we'd be in business but we don't so kind of looking for a way out here i mean i can't escape rope kind of to save my rayquaza some you know actually no there's no escape roping i need to tempest so let's just go in let's go in and i'm just trying to think is there any other way to like i guess i could escape rope then guzma up something obnoxious like we'll probably do that let's just try to you know try to get the you know, try to get this Buzzwold to not just hit me again, I guess. So let's put up the Dedenne. And then my opponent's got Shrine out. So, like, that's annoying as well. This is definitely going to be a little bit challenging. But I'll try to just, like, play as lightly as I can on my on my GXs and just see how we can do here. So I am just going to put my second energy on. Then we're going to, like, Guzma up the Oranguru probably. That is what we want active. Then I guess there's no harm in putting that there. There's nothing else we could do. We have to Tempest. So let's go ahead, Tempest GX, and see if we can get moving here. See if we can get a Rescue Stretcher and a Rare Candy. There's all my Rare Candies. 
but no rescue stretcher. We do have a Lele though. We can go get Volkner and Volkner for rescue uh, rescue stretcher, which is something that uh, that we could do. That is an option for us. It's not ideal, but it does work. I could also just uh, you know like play a supporter off the Lele. Obviously, I don't really want Lele in play. I would rather not. And this is why I was saying like this literally case in point there was some i was like we were between dedene and uh shining lugia i think shining lugia is a very good card right now i think it's like super good in fact i just bought like eight of them i don't know if some of you guys maybe saw on twitter uh, i bought eight of them and they were like five dollars a piece when i bought them and now they're up to like 10 to 20 dollars a piece so i think that card is kind of hype right now i think that a lot of People are kind of getting into that, and this is uh, looking like this is probably a typical, you know, Buzzwell garb deck just for the new format. So this could go kind of rough for me, uh, just because if I happen to like get stuck or just you know if I use too many items, uh, could be could be hard times here. So we'll uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes but i think that the lugia is very good and you know we were kind of back and forth between the lugia and the dedene in this deck i think lugia is good because it just knocks out all of these all of these hater pokemon right like boswell it knocks out garbodor it knocks out it knocks out dedene if your opponent's playing dedene it knocks that out as well and it's just a really good option is kind of a a non gx uh, non gx attacker so my opponent went all in and attached to their boswell here they're hoping for a switch there it is yikes okay so this is bad we get sledgehammered again we're taking more damage yeah we're, in, we're at 170 this is where nobody wants to be so this is bad but uh it's fine everything's fine no problems here let's see i think that like we need to get multiple grubbin out and we need to get multiple vika volt out but we're kind of in this rough boat here where it's just going to be just hard times uh <laughs> hard times had by all so let's uh let's play let's let's do this we kind of more or less have to we have to set up the vika vault there is no other option so let's do that uh, is it my volkner in deck my volkner is in deck is my rescue stretcher in deck i don't have rescue stretcher in deck do i have my other vika vault in deck i do okay so we got to go get volkner and we got to ultra ball some things away and get my vika vault then i could mysterious treasure for a marsh shadow and like let loose that just seems kind of bad i think we kind of have to just go charging in i have no counter stadiums in this list right now i've got no field blower in this list right now so we're just uh we're just racing my opponent and it's unfortunately because uh we did not get a quick vika vault there so we're not doing what we wanted to do as far as uh, getting moving on turn two, which is what the deck is uh, supposed to do. So this is just hard times. All right, let's see here. We can Ultra Ball a couple things away. The thing is, the more stuff I Ultra Ball away, like items-wise, the worse off we are with that Garbodor. Let's see, one, two, three, and then I think I just get rid of two energy, though that is kind of like a feel bad, but I think like... Ultimately, I can I can throw them back in. So let's just do that, and then let's get ourselves the Vika Volt. We need a rare candy in the Vika Volt right now. Got to do it. So let's uh, let's get that thing going, and then we'll be able to strong charge here. And I think that we we like might as well just like mill. I don't know. Do we will? Let's see. I attach the energy here. That's where that's going. Like we're going to end up attaching two more. I don't think that I need to mill. Uh, if I, so long as I can like continue accelerating every turn, uh, I don't actually even need to put this ray down yet. Uh, I think that I probably don't do that, so let's not do that. Let's. Uh, I'm playing wrong ray with the wrong support Pokemon. What you think that uh, maybe you think that uh, you think that uh, what Venusaur is better? I know a lot of people are talking to me about like Venusaur. I don't really think that. Uh, I don't think the Venusaur is like. I think Vika Volt is like way way better than Venusaur. Um, so let's uh, let's see here. I think that I'm going to put this Ray down next turn to save one more exchange. Like saving every exchange I can save on, uh, on Shrine of Punishment is like very meaningful. So I'm going to put it down next turn and then like Guzma. So that's like, that's my thought. Let's just Dragon Break here. Knock this thing out. Then I get knocked out. That's horrible, but it's fine. We're going to promote the Dedene here. We got another Rare Candy. Yikes. So Venusaur is better? People are telling me Venusaur is better? Really? 
I'm not I'm not so convinced uh, about that. I think that Vika Volt is just so good, self-sustaining, gets energy into play. Because then if you like knock out the Venusaur, then like your board position's not actually good, right? Your board position's actually just bad if you knock out the Venusaur. Uh, because then you only have so many energy in play, whereas Vika Volt just like slams tons of energy into play and is, uh, in my opinion, just more consistent and better. And then you don't actually have to like mill your whole deck away all the time, which is uh, definitely nice. So uh, let's see what we got here. I think that this is just probably a complete trash matchup. Like I, I mean, I'm not intending to be funny with that. Like this matchup is just absolutely horrendous so i think that this next turn we are going to guzma up potentially this garbador we could guzma up the diancy both of those are good targets for me and uh, my opponent doesn't even get the knockout there which is super funny so i think that i i could also guzma up the oranguru they could just like not draw cards i don't know what their support is looking like right now but i could just guzma up the oranguru and knock it out uh, which could be good for me. So I'm thinking that either the Garbodor goes or the Oranguru. I'm feeling the Oranguru right now, but then I go to, I also go to four prizes, which means that my opponent's going to be sledgehammering me for a lot. And thank you, Zach Attacks. Thank you so much Thanks for the for donation. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're the man, Zach. Appreciate it. All right, let's let's uh, let's just go in, and we're not going to, we're not going to mill. No. Let's just uh, attach here. Let's strong charge first. So strong charge, we're gonna get, I know I have exactly two left. I need to find myself a, uh, I do need to find myself like an energy recycler here. So that's like on my to-do list as well. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mysterious treasure away a rare candy as much as I don't wanna do that. And I am gonna start to draw more cards with this Mars Shadow. So I think I'm going to Guzma up I'm going to Guzma up like the Oranguru or the Diancie. I think I got to hit the Diancie so that I don't get one hit KO'd by this Sledgehammer. That's just my thought. And then we'll uh, we'll go from there and we're going to see how this goes. So yeah, let's shuffle draw four here and go from there. I do have the Energy Recycler and a Cynthia in hand, so that's really good for me. And then I need to set up another Vika Volt. It's going to be hard because I have a Rescue Stretcher Prize and I had to discard my two Vika Volt. But, I mean, if I could just find a grub and that's going to be great. Oh, and thank you for I Ate the Internet. Appreciate the donation. Thank you so much. Big shout out to you. You are the man. So let's see. What are my item count out as well? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven? Oh, yikes. I'm in kind of trouble if my opponent can. Love you, Orcus uh, man. I'm trying to build Decidueye. Zoroark. <laughs> Thoughts X. I like Decidueye Zoroark a lot. There's my rescue stretcher, so that's good. I like Decidueye Zoroark a lot. I actually have it built, so I might uh, run a game with that after this, and that would be fun. So I'll try that for sure. I think that Decidueye, I think Snipe is all just like very good right now. Uh, my biggest problem with Decidueye Zoroark is that it's just. Uh, Sometimes the damage isn't quite enough, uh, isn't quite enough. So let's see, my opponent right now is going to be doing 120 uh, plus the 10, 20. So like 140, if they can find a choice band off this, like I am just in a world of pain. Like it's just going to be completely horrible. So it's just a, it's a tough matchup. I think Rayquaza is very good against like big, heavy hitting GX decks. But against these smaller decks with like Shrine and uh, non-EX, non-GX Pokemon, this is like the last thing that you want to, uh, the last thing that you want to encounter with this deck. Uh, what's my opinion on the matchup of Ray versus Duskmane? It's kind of like a big one-hit KO fest. Like you're just looking, they're gonna sledgehammer my Lele. That is fine. We need to get this thing off of their sledgehammer turn. So they're taking two more prizes here pretty much a wash like i don't think <laughs> this is just absolutely horrible there is nothing that i'm going to be able to do from here on out i think this thing at this point is just going to be knocking me out uh anytime so let's see i don't have any healing if we just had like a max potion or something that would be just so good but at this point you know uh, kind of it's it's inevitable what's about to go down so i think that we just uh 
I don't think that we bother using escape rope. That's just more items in the discard pile at this point. And I already have seven. I mean, I need to throw energy back into the deck, I guess. So we can do that. And I need to get more Vika Volts into play. Let's energy recycler. And then I'm going to start strong charging to my Vika Volt. That's kind of just like what we got going on here. And yeah, let's strong charge. So we're going to do that. Very good. And we're going to add those to my Vika Volt. And then I kind of have to attack with Ray and just hope that my opponent does not knock me out with that Garbodor. That is just what we're doing. It's not good. It doesn't feel good. It's not, not what I want, but it's just uh, it's the reality of the situation. So I think I put down this other Garbin, maybe, and I have the potential to possibly one day attack with a couple of Vika Volts, but that's just like, it's not happening, let's be honest. So we have to take this knockout here. We can put this energy onto my Vika Volt. Sure, that's an option. And then let's just drag and break for knockout. I guess I probably should have saved that grass energy in case I wanted to attack with a Ray next turn. Uh, but, you know, whatever. I mean, this is pretty much pretty much just a, a decimation here. They're going to pretty much win the game. They get that knockout on the Lele. And then if they just have a Psychic Energy, they knock me out with Garbodor. So that's rough, but it's all good. This is a bad matchup for Vika Volt Rayquaza. So if you plan on playing this at a regional championship, you should know that this is not the kind of deck that you want to run into. So they're promoting the Garbodor. They're going for a Cynthia. And they uh, get to draw six, see if they get that Psychic Energy or a Rainbow, and just finish this thing off. I don't know if they fixed the bugs yet. Uh, I don't know if they fixed the bugs on like counter. I, it wasn't a counter energy bug. I think they, uh, what it was a, a bug with uh, Swampert. Oh, they missed. Oh, they missed it. They missed it. Oh, that's great. So at least we're gonna make it like one prize closer here. That's good for me. So that uh, that's fantastic. Let's. Uh, that's why you never know. You never. You gotta keep playing. You never know what's gonna happen. So let's uh, let's escape rope and go in with the Vika Volt. I think we we need to do that. Uh, I could also just retreat the ray, so I'm not escape roping. I actually kind of like that. Let's uh, let's just strong charge. Yeah, let's uh, let's retreat. I'm just gonna retreat because I want to knock out the Garbodor. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna energy recycler, and we're gonna throw in yeah all these energy here, and we're gonna hope that this is enough to get through the game here with Vika Volts. <laughs> this is where we're at. Sometimes you just be out there with your Vika Volt, right? And uh, that's just what you're doing. So let's let's get these, okay? Then we're gonna put one here. And we're gonna put uh, one onto probably, okay, I kind of messed up, it's fine. I'm gonna put a second one on there. And then I think that I need to, well, I kind of was thinking about putting it onto a clean ray, but I'm not gonna put the other ray down yet. I think ideally I want that next turn. So let's Cynthia, we wanna set up a second Vika Volt here if we can, but that's, yeah, that's not happening, so that's fine. I only have my one rescue stretcher in deck, which I would have had to hit, so. That's fine. We'll see what we can do here. I got fan club. I can get a ray next turn if I want it. And uh, we'll go, we're going to electro cannon. Cool. So let's do that. I'm going to electro cannon. I'm saving the energy in my hand just in case I want to do something different with it next turn. You never really know. So we're down to two prizes. All right. We've got a Lele in our hand. What in the world can we do? Uh, it doesn't feel good. They are doing 60 damage to this with their buzz wool. So that's great. Uh, I actually can, you know, they might be promoting this because they have, they probably don't have Energy Guzma. If they had Energy in their hand, they would have played it uh, already. So let's see what, uh, is Isidro says that they have the strongest deck in format. <laughs> That's, uh, what is your deck, Isidro? Give us the juice. What is it? What is it? Um, so, so yeah, is Alolan Muck still good? I think Alolan Muck is less good than, uh, it has been in the past. Right now, uh, basic abilities aren't what's running the game. I think the, the decks that are, you know, the abilities that are running the game right now are like Vikavol, you know, uh, abilities like Trade on Zorark and, you know, like Gardevoir GX. Uh, I mean, it's very good against Oranguru. Most shrine decks use Oranguru to help draw. That's just uh, how they get through their decks. So that's uh, that's a big thing for them. Okay, so we are in a tight spot. 
Okay, like we could win this game. I just need to I need to be careful about what I do. Um, I think that I need to. Okay, I don't want to Guzma. I don't want to attack with. I could attack something with a clean Lele, but even that's like stressful and risky. So I think that I fan club for a ray, and then I strong charge. What? I attach one under, nope, that's not gonna work. I fan club for a ray and I mill. Oh, yeah, that's what that's what we do. Okay, so let's do that. And I need to attach an energy to my ray. I need two energies to my active, attach an energy, and I'm only doing 90 damage, then I can win with Guzma. Maybe, okay, so that's, that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna get ourselves a ray, a fresh, fresh ray. Um, and I'm going to mill. Okay, so we're going to do that. I should have strong charge first. That's my bad. Um, so, okay, we're going to get an energy here. And then we are going to strong charge two energies onto the active. This is kind of a major yikes. I need to get, like, I might be just out of energy and, like, not able to win. But we need to hope that my opponent... Um, I also like potentially should have just attached. No, because I was trying to save my energy to attach this ray. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to knock this out. So my hope is a couple of things. I need to hope that my opponent doesn't like Guzma for game. Uh, I also need to hope that they, if they can't knock out the Vika Volt, that's fantastic for me. There's another energy, so that's good. So Actually, no, I'm fine, because I can just accelerate. If they knock out this Vika Volt, then I can accelerate with my own ray. They promoted the Oranguru. Does that mean they have it? Or are they trying to instruct for it? Ah, this is very, very close. They have it. Oh, no, they're Guzming. Do they have the energy already? They have the ray. I haven't seen a rainbow yet. They're instructing for it. Oh, no. Oh, do they have it? This is so close. I can't believe it. This is insane. I have not seen a single energy out of them yet. Oh, they give me the frowning face. They don't have it. Oh, this is insane. What a comeback. Oh my gosh. Do they not? They don't have it. We win. That is completely nuts. So we got there, guys. Oh yeah. We are taking them out. So fantastic. 120 damage on the nose. We actually have a strong charge as well. We can get 150 because they didn't take a knockout. So we got there versus the pesky shrine deck we just had to be very careful and my opponent had to whiff a lot but it's fine we got there victory with vika ray busted deck this deck is so good it doesn't even matter if your opponent's playing a deck that is just built to beat you uh you can still just out consistency them and we saw vika volt was just out there pumping energy into play the entire game uh you know and was really uh, really helping me to power things up so that was rough i think like there are some things that people are doing in their vika volt decks to make it a little bit better we're gonna roll with malamar next uh let's uh let me actually look at my malamar list i don't think that i was actually loving the oranguru in malamar but maybe you want it let's uh let's take a look at that malamar list real quick and i think that i didn't like the oranguru i think that i i did want like some extra energies and i actually like i didn't i don't even like altar of the moon in this deck honestly it feels like more of a pain than anything but i kind of like we're just gonna we're just gonna ship the list as is and we're gonna let you know how i feel about it after we play some more some more games here so i'm gonna roll one with malamar real quick i lost uh, if you guys watched the malamar video i lost one of those because uh i didn't have enough energy in deck to be string with so that was a little bit frustrating right uh, what Shining Lugia Malamar? I think Shining Lugia Malamar is a super good deck. Actually, uh, that's why one of the reasons I bought all my Shining Lugias was that uh, I think that that deck is pretty good. So it's uh, it's a deck that we're working on. Still trying to hammer out the list. It doesn't do very well against like you know decks that can Acerola and Max Potion and stuff. So originally I was very worried about like Metagross, but then it turns out like nobody's playing Metagross anymore. So because Metagross just like completely gets bodied by uh, Vika Ray, it's like not close. So that's uh, that's kind of what's going on there. I think that I actually want the Oranguru down. I'm going to put the Oranguru down and we're going to see how this goes. And I'll play, oh, we're playing against Decidueye. Pretty sweet here. We'll get to see how that Decidueye deck goes. And uh, I think Riley was actually talking to me about, you know, a straight psychic build of Malamar in this format as well. I haven't tried that yet, 
but it does seem pretty good. And you know, you can play uh, Marshadow GX, which is super cool. And you can hit Zorox for knockout, which is excellent. So why did I take the Shining Lugia out of Vicare? I took it out to tech for the mirror, actually, Jason. So that Dedene that was in there, that was in that spot. And I feel like teching for the mirror is just like a really big deal right now because that deck is just probably one of the most popular decks in format. So I think that it's just, uh, you know, so good. You got to tech for it and uh, you don't want to be caught in a mirror where your opponent has a, uh, a copy of Dedene and you do not. So that is kind of important. That's what we're talking about. Let's get going here. We're playing against a Decidueye deck. We want to get going pretty quick. I think I'm going to end up ultra balling away this beast ring, even though, yeah, you don't love doing that, but you kind of just got to. So we're going to do that. I want to save the ultra ball in deck just to have something else. We're going to get another Inke into play. I don't necessarily want to attach that metal anywhere so we could just throw the metal onto the active NK to retreat but i'd rather not let's just go and we could go full greed and like go double ultra ball and then instruct for three but that just like also feels bad so let's be a little bit more responsible than that get ourselves a supporter and we're just gonna go get oh let's get a uh let's get a lily and we play lily yeah, yeah let's get the lily we're gonna turn one lily here and then Lillying here with an Ultra Ball and a Metal in hand just feels good. We're going to get a draw of six, so that's excellent. We've got ourselves another Inke, another another Psychic to discard. That's good. And I also have my I have my Duder over here, Ultra Necrozma, so that's good. I can actually start slapping some energy down on him. I don't really have any reason to play the Ultra Ball yet. I don't really have any reason to play the Acrobike yet, so I feel like I'm just going to do that. And we're going to go from there. And I think that, you know, we, and I, I'm going to Ultra Ball next turn for Malamars and things like that. I don't need anything for that Acrobike, so we're just going to pass. Because if your opponent judges you or something like that, you're going to want to have as many outs to supporters and draw cards that you can in your deck. So saving the Acrobike is actually kind of cool. And what's up, Dankus? We got Andrew Dankus in the chat here. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Dankus is a sweet dude. So what's up, Dankus? Um, let's see. Malamar needs bench space. Yes, it does. So I'm kind of back and forth on the Oranguru, but uh, if there's any deck that can pare down its hand very well, it is Malamar. Uh, with all the Ultra Balls and Mysterious Treasures, very easy to kind of get your uh, to get your hand down to a smaller size to be able to instruct and stuff. So awesome. <laughs> everybody geeking over Natalie. What's up? So shout out to everybody helping me mod the chat. I need to give more of my friends mod abilities in the chat. That would be on my to-do list like auto auto remind me that i'm trying to make you a mod that's what i'm trying to do so definitely got to get that taken care of and dankus dankus you can be a mod too so oh what's up yarden i actually got to you know we met uh met yarden oh my opponent's timing out don't time out i was gonna do so good oh that's fine so that's a reality of the game timeouts the your opponent just like you know not having any idea what's going on so they're you know either lagging or something like that so I'm going to go get a Malamar. Uh, I'm going to pretend that just they just, you know, were just, uh, you know, they were just intimidated. They just had no idea what to do. Let's go get ourselves a Mysterious Treasure as well. So we're going to get multiple. Um, and they're scooping. Okay. I was going to say, we're going to get multiple Malamars into play that turn. And then we were going to Guzma something up and then knock it out. So let's roll that one more time. See if we can actually get a real game in there. 2-0. We're on streak. We're going to see how long do you guys think I can go before I lose here. 2-0 so far, and we're playing against a Lycan Rock here. A man in a Lycan Rock suit. Check that out. So that's pretty cool. Mr. X Johnny Sniper X. How you doing, Mr. Johnny Sniper? In your fox costume. That's very cool. All right. Uh, so let's see. Empoleon, right? I do think that Empoleon has potential. We, uh, we've we been calling Swampert Empoleon Swampoleon which is uh, kind of a funny name for it. But uh, the the worst thing about that deck is that it's just hard to set up. It's kind of hard to get Swamper into play and Empoleon into play at the same time. But, you know, it's a little bit challenging. But if you get them both set up, the deck is just like pure flames. And, you know, using power draw, I think it's called power draw, using power draw with the Swampert is just like insane. So I love that. Uh, and it's uh, it's one of my favorite stage twos in the format right now is Swampert. And that power draw is just so, so good. So let's see what we're playing against. Looks like this could be either Guardi or it could be, I've actually played against a number of Glaceon decks so far. So like 
I've, and I've gotten like whooped by some of them. This is probably an Espeon Bonnet deck with Weavile. What in the world is going on here? Okay, I don't know anymore. We're playing against, uh, oh, can I have your autograph, Yarden? Very funny. Any thoughts on Shiftry? Uh, I think that Shiftry just feels a little like kind of slow right now. You'd have to play it with Zorark, but I'm not sure that Shiftry with Zorark is better than like Zorark. Like Rock or Zorak Glycopod, which is a little bit, you know, a little bit of a bummer since, uh, you know, Zorak Glycopod and Zor Zorak Lycanroc are both the same versions of Zorak that we had last year, right? So we would much rather have something new and exciting. So this is like interesting. This is a nice, nice moment here. You know, do you Acro Bike first or do you Mysterious Treasure first? And uh, if you answered Acro Bike first, I think that you are correct. So the idea here is that you Acro Bike first and you hope you hit a draw supporter so that then you can Mysterious Treasure for your Inke, right? But then if you Acro Bike into pure garbage, then you, and see, here we go. We did it perfectly, guys. I told you, you Acro Bike first, you get the Cynthia, and now we're like, oh great, I can Mysterious Treasure for an Inke now, right? So that's that's exactly what we wanted to do. Very good. And you guys can see that's order of operations 101. So very cool. Uh, yeah, but then obviously if you whiff off of the acro bike, then you just mysterious treasure and you can go get yourself a Lele and Lele for a supporter. But we really don't want to do that. Uh, we really don't want to do that. JW advertising his services <laughs> in my chat. Uh, that's cool. JW is trying to coach. JW is the number one player in North America right now. He uh he probably wants everybody to know that, so that's very good. We're going to go ahead and just throw some of these things down here and then just Cynthia. I'm putting the Beast Energy onto the Ultra Necrozma just to have it there. Uh, let's see. We are also going to Acro Bike. Playing items feels bad. I mean, we are definitely... Yikes. Uh, okay, so none of these really help. Let's just, uh, let's just keep the Beast Ring. Okay. I was hoping for another Inke there off the Acro Bike. We didn't get it. And we kind of just have to pass and hope that we just draw better next turn. So let's do that. But yes, JW is looking for coaching gigs now that he's the number one player in North America. I think JW, JW, say in the chat, how many uh, how many points do you have? I think JW has like 240 points right now. Uh, but JW is also a regional winner. And I think, well, when was the year? What, 1985, JW? <laughs> Uh, JW won a regional, I think, in like 2014. Uh, it was just a year before a year before mine. <laughs> JW has 260 points, and he is the number one player in the world. He wants everybody to know that. So we're gonna drop this altar of the moon now, and we're gonna hope that. I think we're just gonna hope that we just Cynthia into better cards here. So I will attach this. And then I'm just going to Cynthia. And we can retreat so long as I get something to retreat into. Oh my goodness, this is feeling a little bad, guys. Feeling a little bad. All right, so let's, uh, and here we go. We just like have to play tons of items. There's just no way around it, right? That was actually the best top deck I could have gotten off of that. So that's very good. And then let's put another NK down. And then I think I can, I can like retreat. I can get a Malamar, retreat. And let's see, two psychics in the discard pile. Let's do this. Get a Malamar retreat and then hypnosis. That's what we're going for. Uh, I'm I'm feeling it. Okay, we're just we're just going for it at this point. And then we're gonna hope that my my sleep sticks. Right. Uh, we we actually should not retreat yet. Let's psychic recharge first. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna hope that my sleep sticks. And then the idea is next turn. I can do uh, 200 damage, right? So that's the hope. Let's hypnosis. Come on, give it to me. Hypnosis. Sleep. Stay sleep. Ugh, they never stay sleep. So that was that was bad. But we gotta hope that they don't just don't knock out my ultra necrozma, and then we can maybe go for there. So this is a this is kind of a rough rough one here, but uh, it's all good. It's all good, you know, and another tough matchup. We can see that people are loving the troll decks right now. People are loving these. And that would be like my biggest concern about playing just a, a straightforward uh, message me, JW. No, 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 no. I think JW, you need to figure out your own, uh, you need to figure out your own, uh, you know, uh, your own way to be contacted. I am not being your go-between for this, JW. I am not. So as we can see, this is horrible, okay? I think that I need to, I just absolutely need 
to get a Dawn Wings out this turn, and I need to GX. I think that's just like what we're looking at here. So I think that I Lily, I'm not gonna put that energy down. I'm just gonna Lily, and we're gonna see what we get. We got it, so we actually are fine. Um, I can Ultra Ball away uh, a Guzma and an energy, and I could go get myself Dawn Wings. If there's one in the, there is, okay, thank goodness for that. Okay, so let's get this. And then we're going to, what's horrible is that we can't like retreat this energy off of the dude, right? So like, this is just gonna be stuck there for the rest. And this is kind of why I hate Altar of the Moon. I think we like need to figure out something else in here because that is just like horrible. So let's, uh, yeah, we're just going to end up having to do this. So uh, I didn't want to, but it's uh, that's just where we're at. So let's just do that. Yep, we're gonna do that. And then we're going to have to, um, you know, we're going to have to GX here. I think I don't have to GX. I certainly could not, but then this Weavile is like definitely going to knock me out. So like, that's just what we have to do. Uh, yeah, we're going to retreat and we're going to do that. And we're just going to hope for the best. Let's move to clip GX. We need to get the ball rolling here a little bit. I would like to take three prizes with this thing. I think I'd like to knock this out. We've got a beast ring, that's good. I would also like to, I think, knock out this Espeon. We could knock the Espeon out. They'll probably GX this turn and they're gonna like knock out a Malamar with the GX and that would be horrible. But I don't think that there's anything else that I really could have done. This is just seeming like kind of a rough, rough go at it. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's just how it is. So what was, uh, Let's see, what was JW saying about his, uh, his coaching rate? He wants, pe <laughs> wants people to message me about coaching. Uh, JW Crewall on Facebook. That's the way, JW. Yes, let people DM you. Yes, very good, very good. But uh, anyways, I can attest, JW is a very good player. I test with him all the time. And he's a starving musician. JW is, a, uh, is the best bassoon player that I know. Uh, He's the best bassoon player that I know. So he, you know, go went to college for music. He's actually was in a orchestra, I think. So he was in a well, the Florida Orchestra, something like that. And I think he's between gigs right now. He had a year gig where he was in the Florida Orchestra, and now I think he's uh, we're gonna call it between jobs. I think he's between jobs. So he's looking for coaching gigs. If anybody's interested in that, I'm actually gonna get a website going. I don't really have time to coach. I'm a full-time teacher, as you guys know, and I also uh, run Tricky Gym. So like that's that's what we got going on. But uh, yeah, so I don't really have time for coaching, but uh, lots of my friends are interested in coaching. So uh, I know like Riley and Natalie and JW and Otto and, uh, you know, lots of the uh, lots of the crew are interested in, in coaching. So, uh, you know, I think I'm going to set up a website or something where people can people can access that. So this is wild. OK, um, I think that I just promote him because he's got free retreat. OK. And I also have invasion, so let's let's see what we got going on here. We actually like are kind of stuck and can't do anything, but I can Guzma and knock out the Sneasel. The Sneasel is like low key the scariest thing right now. I guess I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, they're all scary. The Garbodors are scary too. I think I'm just ruined here, and I can't Ultra Ball for anything. I think I need to Ultra Ball. I just need to go and get like a Lele and I just need to bite the dust and just go for it, right? Like I need to set up some other attackers or I definitely lose. So we're gonna do that. Uh, let's go get a Lele and we're just gonna play a supporter and we're gonna hope that this all buffs out and that's just uh, that's just what it is. So let's go here. At this point, we are getting infinite damage dealt. Uh, let's see, yeah, we're getting infinite damage dealt by uh, I think I should have lilied here. So you definitely, uh, yeah, don't be bad like me, guys. You definitely just grab the lily instead of the Cynthia when you have a zero card hand. <laughs> like, you definitely do that 10 times out of 10. But it's cool. It's fine. We're we're totally fine here. Let's, uh, let's Ultra Ball away to Ultra the Moons because that's a horrible card. And we're going to go get ourselves uh, a gentleman here. We're going to start to set up our gentleman, and we're going to hope for the best. So there is that. And let's Psychic Reach. Let's... Uh, Psychic recharge to him a couple of one time. We get one time. That's fine. So we'll do that. And then we're going to attach as well and just uh, retreat and knock this thing out. Then, you know, if my opponent happens to be able to respond with anything, literally anything, then I'm pretty much a goner. But 
They might not. Uh, I know, Riley. I know that I Lily there. I just uh, I messed up, man. I messed up. I was thinking too quick, and then I just I clicked the wrong thing. But you definitely Lily there. Uh, so that's uh that's fine. You know, you live and learn. Part of watching the stream is you learn what not to do. So here we go. My opponent's going to Cynthia. They need Garbodor or a Weavile, and they just like outright win the game. And there's like nothing to do here. So that just uh, that just is what it is. Uh, I think this is Natalie. That or somebody's breaking into my apartment. So uh, I think Natalie is here. Hello. Hello. Oh, what's up? It's Natalie. That's up. That's awesome. I'm glad it wasn't a Randy. Oh, they missed. Oh my gosh, they missed. This is crazy. This is nuts. All right, so they missed. They. I can like just win the game now. Like. For sure. Are you not getting punished? Uh, I'm not getting punished <laughs> at all. Like, uh, we definitely could do it. Uh, do I have another Lele in deck? I think I do. I just Lele for Guzma and just take out a Lele right now. Uh, and I just win the game. So let's uh, let's Mysterious Treasure and check out uh, what we got inside this deck. We've got a Lele. Do we have a Goose? We've got a Goose. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We've got it. Oh, my gosh. My opponent. Honestly, this has been... Uh, this <laughs> opponents what are they doing they're just whiffing they're whiffing so hard how are they whiffing this hard andre machone is in there today there's a uh for those of you guys that don't know uh i don't know sometimes i've had times where i just thank you zach attacks why do you play two dawn wings because dawn wings busted it's very good uh, Squad, scorching light. Yeah, uh, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> gonna can't. do that. <laughs> I'm also just not gonna do that. Yeah. So I think we just win now. Uh, but thank you, Zach. Uh, thank you, Zach, for the donation. Appreciate it. Zach's also a supporter on Patreon. So shout out to you, Zach. You are the man. But uh, I play two Dawn Wings because Dawn Wings and Ultra Necrozma are both good for different things. Obviously, Dawn Wings, you saw, pretty much won me that game there with that Moon's Eclipse GX, just buying me that random turn in the middle of the game where I was invincible. My opponent had to take the suboptimal strategy of knocking out something on the bench instead uh, Sky Scorching Light would have won the game if I could. Oh, I didn't. It would have. I wasn't even, to be honest, I'm uh, like, yes. I'm so distracted right now that I'm just like not even really looking. But it, it also, yes, it definitely would have won the game. Uh, but I could not. It was not an option on my on my, my viewer here. That's because yes. you've already used your GX attack. Uh, that is because I've already used my GX Why attack, do you yes. Play two don't wing? <laughs> I know. That's I have so the, funny. <laughs> I have the robot who uh, reads the super chats now. So that's that's very exciting. Um, but yes, the, the Dawn Wings are, are great. I mean, and just uh, having a psychic attacker that with the invasion is just such a good attack. Thank you, Ruben, for the donation. Shout out to Ruben. You are the bomb. Appreciate it, Ruben. So now we're coming in with this uh, Bonnet, the Bonetti GX. So that is actually not something that I accounted for here. Uh, so that could throw a little bit of a wrench into my situation because I was not anticipating having to do 190 damage to finish off the game. But it looks like my opponent, oh, we just, uh, we might not have any psychics. This always happens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we definitely don't have quite enough. Do you so have, let's, uh, you don't have like one or two in deck? I don't think so. I, I have seven. I think Why there's only just... seven in the in the deck. Well, let's just play there's it only and seven? look. Yeah, I think I have so. Eight in my list. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yep. Seven. So uh, and there's no way to get these energies off these guys. There just there's isn't. Two Malamar. Are there other two psychics in the discard? I think there's one. Why did you not? Why did I? Oh, I meant to click it. I thought I had. All right, guys. I'm sorry. I thought I had selected it. That's. Uh, but that's, that's totally fine. I thought I had selected it. I have two energy in the discard pile. You had two. I have two. Yeah. So I could. Oh, I can invasion. Oh, I could have just had it. Yeah, you. that's, yeah. Oh, yikes. Okay, well, let's do this. All right. So let's, uh, I misclicked, guys, so that's really bad, but that's fine. It's not, it's not a problem. We're not worried about it. All right, let's, <laughs> I misclicked. Yikes. All right, so that's fine. Let's, uh, um, now I have to, like, rethink this completely. Okay, so we have to get the we'll get the yeah, rescue structure. Oh, I had no. it. I did have it. I just mis oh. I just misclicked away from it. So that's that's completely fine. So let's because uh, then I could have invasion double. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. This is uh, this is acceptable though. This is completely fine. So there's no point well, in rescue stretching any of this stuff. Hit it off the judge. If I can hit a B string off the judge, we're or fine. A psychic, right? Or a psychic. Yes, you just, yes. You can just 
draw it. Uh-huh, I can, I can still draw it. So like, we're totally fine here. Uh, I do have a V-string in deck still. We're just gonna have to do it the hard way, guys. Yeah. So let's just, uh, I was just like more, you know, more suspense. Who doesn't like more suspense? Never punished, let's see. Never punished. Never Dude, punished. Never punished. <laughs> <laughs> never punished. Let's go, let's go. We're good. All right, so we're gonna try this. This is the second time. This is the second time. Here we go. All right, it goes here. So then we're going to invasion. Uh, <laughs> This is too funny. All right, and then we get to devil psychic that guy's recharge. Like, what happened? Never put it. He's like, "What just happened?" Uh, we just won there, so that's good. We got there. It's fine. Uh, PTCGO is just—I feel like so finicky sometimes. I like—I thought that I had clicked the energy. Like, there's obviously yeah. no reason that I would ever, in a million years, not accelerate that. So, here we go. Photon geyser. Good game. So that's nuts. All right, that's the second deck in a row that was supposed to beat us but didn't, okay? So uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Like, and honestly, guys, like I think that this, can you, can, is Natalie on camera? She, yeah. She's almost on camera, on there camera. she is. Uh, nice, of. yeah, 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 come on, we'll scoot over this way, scoot. Um, but honestly, guys, that is like a major fallacy of the, uh, that is a major fallacy of the, of the shrine decks. Like honestly, they just don't draw as well as the other decks. They just don't. They don't have like leleys in them. A lot of them don't have leleys. A lot of them don't have, that one did have lele. But the draw supporters are just super weak. So I think like, you know, a lot of times they just whiff things uh, and that's just the way it is. I wanna play Guardy Swampert. Oh I'm gonna Why play Guardy Swampert. Of one of them has healing in it. One of them does not. Oh, okay. The healing one is better. So let's. I'm going to take a look at my Guardy Swampert list. I love Guardy Swampert. So this is like one of my favorite decks right now. Guardy Swamp Two. All right, let's check it out. So Guardy Swamp Two. I was fooling around with like just one Swampert for a minute, but that ended up not being good. So like that's not good. Super boost. Uh, I do have super boost in here. We've got the two es escape a ropes. Uh, let's see. Three Guzma. What did I even cut from this? Oh, I cut the field blower. Yeah. Uh, and there's also no stadium, stadium removal, none of that. Oh, and I cut, I cut the third Lele as well. We're fine. We're fine. We probably want the third Lele. Uh, but the Acerola and the Max Potion are really good as well. So we're going to try that. Yeah, we're fine. Two Lele, we're fine. So long as you set up, you know, your Swampert, then you're great. And there's no problems. But, you know, if you yeah, don't set up Swampert. Why not just play Sylveon? Why not just play Sylveon? I am playing Sylveon. No, why not just play like more cards after that then? You could get them all with Sylveon. Because Swampert is insane. Swampert <laughs> is like the best card of the deck. You know, and it's just, there's just, I don't know what else to say. Swampert's the bomb. Uh -huh. I also used to have Apricorn Maker in here. Uh, I also used to have Fan Club in here. None of them are in here anymore. Yeah. So I probably should be playing uh, Apricorn Maker or Fan Club, but I just, I'm just like, kind of all in on nest balls. I'm like, we'll just, we'll be, we'll One draw One fan it. club could be fine. One fan club could be fine, but this list is like super greedy for space. And it's just like fitting everything. I just am like very greedily trying to fit in. Um, Riley says it needs Lily. I didn't realize you can have a Lily in there. I don't have a Lily in here. Yeah, you're right. I should be playing Lily. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to, what are you going to Lily for? A Cynthia? A Cynthia? <laughs> <laughs> a judge? Uh, we're fine. Uh, totally fine. I'm not worried at all. All right. So like, let's see. What supporters do I have in here? Uh, Cynthia's, Guzma's, and Judge. That's fine. You set up Swampert. <laughs> you set up. That's what I'm saying. You set up Swampert. There's no no problems here. In fact, this is just a Swampert hand. So I'm like not getting rid of these cards. Uh, let's see. We're going to get a Mudkip because I like Mudkips. And then we're going to Ultra Ball away Lele and Guardi. No, no. We're not doing anything. My opponent's not doing anything this turn. What? They're not going to knock out this Ralts here. We're fine. As we're long going. As you don't attach an energy to it. I think we're going uh, double. I think I'm just going to go in here. I think I'm going to. Yeah, next turn I'm just going to play a supporter. Going to get a guardian to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that we're going to do that. A fan club would have been ideal here. Yeah, man, uh, should be playing a fan. This, le this list is. Lily. The list is. It's just greedy. What can I say? The list is greedy. All right. So that's fine. We're just going to pass. All right. I think I could Ultra Ball away. No, we're not doing Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're Ultra Ball away. We're going to do this. Okay. So we're going to do One that. Singleton. And that. Um, and then I'm just going to, and I am going to play a supporter. And we're going to see how that goes. So we're, we're going to go in here. We're going to do this. Uh, I don't actually like the sitting on that play because then and this should be a lily you're right like this would just be way better as a lily right now but i don't have one in the deck because there's just not a lot of supporters in this deck you set up swampert so it's just the way that it is this list is a little bit greedy so we're going in and we're gonna see how it goes 
Uh, but it's fine. We haven't had to pay for it. See? That's what I'm saying. Deck is busted. Never, never don't need punished. to fix it. You're just not punished. That's We're, the only reason you why. You don't need to fix this list at all. This list is perfection. <laughs> right? See? Uh, yeah, someone proved to me that my list is bad. Prove to me. I'm pretty sure you can't. All right, here we go. So we're going to escape rope two and get this guy to the active position. And we're good to go. Fantastic. What more do you need? <laughs> this is a perfect turn one. <laughs> so there, uh, that's, uh, that's just, uh, uh, that's great. We, <laughs> people are confused as why we're talking about sweaty gross. That's just what, <laughs> what I called metagross one time and it caught on and so... You know, oh, thank you, about... Penguin oh, Zombie. Wow, thank you. Oh, thank you so Me much. Stream one day? I don't the, know. Uh, thank you so much for the donation, Penguin Zombie. Really, really love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hot take. Andrew did play Buzzrock with less than 10 supporters after saying that. Uh huh. I, I wasn't pleased. <laughs> love the work. Natalie stream one day, please lol. We will get please Natalie. Lull. We will get Natalie to stream mm -hmm. one day. Yeah. Sometimes she also hops in on my stream, like when I have to use the bathroom or when I'm busy, and she yeah. will she'll uh, you know command the desk here for a while. But thank you so much, Penguin Zombie. You are the man. Perfect deck. This deck is perfect. I don't know what you guys. You so many haters out here saying I should have played. You know, should have played this. Should have played that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I just whatever my guy. I just don't see the problems. All right, let's Cynthia here. <laughs> perfect deck, honestly, perfect deck. Okay, so now we. W this is a <laughs> weird hand to have drawn into. That's odd. Uh, let's. Magical uh, ribbon. Uh, I think that we just honestly we don't could, need uh, a lot. How many? Do you play any like energy? Recovery or no? No, I think I'm going to Ultra Ball away the Guzma and that, and then I'm going to get myself another Ralts. And yeah, cool. then we're going to Power Draw. I, wouldn't even, I don't even think that I need to power, need power Draw. draw. Uh, I could just go get some things uh -oh. with Magical Ribbon internet here. Internet problem. Am I having internet problems? No, stay. Uh, okay. So I could Power Draw, go for a DCE. That'd be busted. Um, and that would feel pretty good, but I don't need to. I think I'd rather just set up, have some energy. I am playing eight which is more than like what a lot of lists are playing right now. I'm power drawing. We're doing it. Okay, we're going to see. I need to power draw. I need the power. Uh, let's see. Three. DCE. God, I'm good. Okay. Uh, but I think that I just probably set up the... No, no, we have power draw. We don't need to. Okay, this is what we're... <laughs> uh, yes, so this is fine. Classic and, fairy wind. Yeah, let's go. Fairy wind. Let's go. Thoughts on Dragon Majesty. Thank you so much, AJ Firetree, for the donation. You are the bomb. Uh, so uh, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much, everybody, for the donations. I really, really appreciate the support. I'm really excited about this new format. Uh, I really appreciate uh, all the support and just I'm really excited about the new format. So hoping that that goes well. See, they got Guzma. See, they ain't got nothing, bro. They ain't got nothing. They got Guzma. That's fine. Uh, we just out here and we're just going to continue. We're going to set up some Guardies. Let's go. If not, we're fairy winding. So let's, uh, or we, we might actually need, no, we power draw. We're just going to, we're going to power draw. We're going to power draw. All right. So yeah, let's power draw away that nest ball and let's get some rare candies. Let's go. Come on. Rare candy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nope, we've got a nest ball and a judge. I not, I'm not playing that judge. Uh, I don't attach want to. To a Ralts. I am going to attach yes. to the Ralts. Yes. And I think that I ribbon. just actually ribbon here. I like, am going to ribbon. They probably play Ace I'm Roll like and stuff. Definitely going to ribbon gonna here. Ace roll yeah, I am you. definitely going to ribbon here. We need to ribbon. We need to set up some boys, especially with two guardies in my hand. We're just going to ribbon. All right, so we're ribboning here, and we're going to get ourselves like two rare candies, uh, and then I have that third Ralts in play, which is really good. And then I can get myself as well, probably uh, an Acerola if my opponent, no, they're probably gonna like knock something out if they get like a Guzma or something like that. So let's go two rare candies and do super boost. And then we're just gonna, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go. So that's, uh, that's fire. Let's just do that. Then we're gonna knock them out. We're just gonna like smoke them uh, with, the, uh, with the super boost. And this is like why I really love, I love super boost in the Guardi decks with Sylveon. I think it doesn't work with Swampert, but I'm fine with that. So we're going in here. We're going to have ourselves two stage twos. We're doing three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. Yeah, we're doing plenty. This thing's a goner. Like, we're definitely just smoking this thing. So that's, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. He should have the Swampert. Let's go. He should have definitely, the yeah. Swampert, he doesn't realize that the Swampert is everything that I have. <laughs> 
He has not realized that yet, so that's fine. Let's go in. We've got two guardies. Too cool. Count All right. Them. We've got now we've got a one. Oh, wow. Check this out. A we two. have we have fulfilled our destiny. We have three <laughs> stage twos in play. Excellent. So let's uh do the secretive spring and we're gonna put it onto the active here. So we're doing three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one. So I just and we have it. I think I go here, and then I think I start to secret spring to uh, this benched one as well. I don't know if my opponent plays enhance hammer or anything like that. Uh, I think I'm just going to judge and see 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Yes, I'm doing enough. So we should be good to go here. I've, I could power draw away that Sylveon because that thing is not needed. What's up, Anime Club? Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go. And. Infinite Force, get out of here. 210 damage, super boost. Getting in there, so that is insane. Insane, insane. So, hope I can get Empoleon working. I love the Empoleon oh, we got deck. Empoleon working. We do got Empoleon <laughs> working. Uh, we've had many friends. Beast Ring. Beast Ring. Oh, the Faravosa is about to get juiced. I'm about to get going. So, oh, no, no, no. that is... Uh, that is tough, man. I think that Oof. we're probably yeah. cool here. I don't really think that there's anything that my opponent can do about just this setup right now. We kind of got the dream team going, and we're good to go. I've loved Ace Arola and the Guardi. I think that that kind of is just, like, incredible in this format, uh, especially since this isn't a format where, I mean, Guardi does well against Ray, which is, like, major one Hikeo deck. Against Zorark, you kind of have to play your own Ace Arola because they're going to be playing Ace Arolas. And you don't have Super Rod to get your energy back anymore, and I'm not playing Energy Recycler. That, like, kind of feels bad. I feel like I'd rather just Twilight I GX. Think really it, I think yeah. you just rather would Twilight GX. So I uh, I think Ace Arola is just really good because it saves your energy, and that's just, like, uh, that's incredible. Okay, so we're smoking. We're taking, we're taking names this turn. Turn. Like someone's going down. Someone's about to just have, be severely <laughs> who, punished, who and it's not that terrible. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, that's cool. My opponent just scooped that up. We're rolling again. So four zero, but who's counting? All right, let's go. Guardy Swamp. Uh, let's go. Play Wind Streak. Swamp Polion is Swamp being Polion. requested. Is Swamp Polion being requested? Yes. All right. Zach Attacks is asking for that new Juicy and Polion list. All right, let's go, Zach This Attacks. top eight at a League Cup, thanks to our friend Sean Lydon. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, Kevin almost top eighted a cup with this. No, Here's, he, did he, did he? Almost. He went 3-2. Oh, okay. I thought that was a League Challenge. All right, this is, this is a little bit off the beaten path here. I was what playing. The, why is there I have Soul Rock in here, okay? No, I don't. Soul Rock I don't seems this. pretty cool. All right, Lapras goes in. So here's here's the deal. We're going to change this back to what Kevin's list was, like similar to what Kevin. I was trying some wild things. Lapras is really good. So you put Lapras I in like here. I do like the Lapras. You Ooh, put the Lap Dog like in the here. Rainbow. Yes, the rainbow. All right. The full art's All right, prettier. Right, fine. All right, we'll go with Natalie. I don't like Natalie the likes the full art. I don't All right. Like the rainbows, and man. then also, they were playing a middle stage of the Swamper, but I'm not exactly sure that that's needed. I also was trying Countercatcher, but Marsh I don't talk. know what I was playing that in there for. Dude, the Hows are good, and so are the Kukois and the TV reporters. Oh. That's all good. All right, four Nest Ball, three, uh, two Timer Ball, like, Cynthia's Lily. Lily, because you have no way to search it out, and it's bad. I Once you start so. drawing with Swampert, it's actually like really Riley's bad. Riley's just playing Marsh Stomp. Listen to Riley. Yeah, we are going to put a Marsh Stomp. We're going to play one Marsh Stomp. All right, Marsh Stomp. All right, we'll play one Marsh Stomp. And yeah, so let's see. We got that. And then how's the energy look? That looks pretty good. Three counters. I kind of like the three counter eight water. I think that that's like cool. How? Okay, you guys are asking me about how. Here's the deal. You guys don't understand. When you have two Swampert in play, you are literally just, you never want to shuffle draw again. You're just like, I'm just going to draw my entire hand out. We're going to put a judge in here too. That's going to be our last card in deck. All right, we're going to put a judge in. So like the idea nice, is that judge art, you, just, you just draw your entire deck. Right, cut the reporter. All right, what for a third how? Right, it better be for a third how. It helps you get energy in the discard <laughs> pile, Riley. You never know. It's really hard to get energy in the discard pile with this list. You kind of need the reporter. Why not play? Uh, I'm saying. All right, Sean Lydon, you think how is bad? Sean has the most points at this deck. No which how. Is a big twenty-five. All right, so we need to. All right, all right, all right. We're actually just gonna play three more reporters. More Kukoi. Reporters. We have two Kukoi. No. We need to draw cards. Sean says more Kukoi. Listen to Sean. We need. More Kukui, what, like three Kukui? I think the three TV reporter is good. Uh, so I think that that's uh, Marshadow is better than Judge. How about you don't play How? How about you don't play How? I, all right, guys, I'm just saying, I put in a lot of time. Uh, Agree with Lily and Kukui. I'm telling you guys, you will never play Lily after you set up a Swampert. That's just period, okay? I'm telling you, period. You will not set it up. 
uh, you will not set it up. So that's just uh, I play four <laughs> Reporter Raven Smell now. I'm tell- How is good? How just he draws plays, three? No, he played four Kukoi. That's what he meant. Oh, it put Kukoi. All right. Thank you, Daddy Cool. All right. We're shipping this Yes, list. he does have Here's a nice Here's the thing. Laugh. Y'all have been hating on all of my decks so far, but not, we're 4-0. Not all right? hating we on any are of them. It's constructive not, criticism. It is constructive criticism. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, uh, do we not have Vulpix in this list? I have one Vulpix, right? No, I don't know. I didn't see it. All right. It. I'm going to check for the Vulpix again real quick. Make sure the Vulpix is in here. Uh, Zach attacks likes the list. I'm telling you, the list is the list is busted. All right, oh, there is I no Vulpix. Vulpix. You don't need Vulpix because you're going in with Lap Vulpix Daddy. Is so good. All right, we'll play one Vulpix in here, but we just you don't want to go know, in with Lapras with all the time. Tears of joy. All right, we're not going to need this judge. We're going in. We'll put a Vulpix in here. All right, we're playing one Vulpix, and that's it. That's all we're getting. Thing. Yeah, we're getting one Vulpix, and then we're shipping it. Okay, and we're never going to judge our opponents, but that's fine because we're going to have million card in our hand. Million card. It is a good list. This list is busted. There's yeah. not two. There's not room for two Vulpix. Sean I don't says, know what. Sean top eight of the league cup and Listen, had two Vulpix in there. I don't I'm know why saying, you don't listen to the confirmed expert of our I'm friends saying, on this deck. Oh, he's the confirmed expert. <laughs> he's got the most points of that. That's how it works. This this list. It was, <laughs> That's uh, what we've decided. It's a, he's the Swampolion king. Oh, he's the Swampolion king. All right. So we're gonna. <laughs> here's the deal: is we're just gonna draw in everything that we need. There's definitely room for two Vulpix. <laughs> There is not room for two Vulpix. I mean, okay, there is room for two Vulpix, but you don't need it. So you're. Uh, I'm telling you, this list, this list is going to be pure flames. We're going to set up perfectly. You guys are going to be like, oh, my gosh, Andrew, you're right. I'm going to be like, I know, and it's going to be fine. <laughs> You guys don't get to hear about the really bad ideas he pitches to me all day. All day. All day. I look at a message and it'll be like, think about this. And it'll be like something I've never even heard of. And then I have to look at it and tell him it's bad. And then, yeah, you know, that's usually a, a common theme. Oh, my gosh. So, uh, yeah. So, like, huh. uh, <laughs> I was I was merely, best of all, I was merely co- combining Lap from Lapras. And we call all Pokemon dads. So, like, I think <laughs> yeah. we keep calling Swampert Swamp Father. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know why we call him Swamp Father, but we do call him Swamp Father. Thank you, Brady Botner. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Says, you were the buzz garb I played against earlier. It was super cool to get to play against you. It was a shame I whiffed on energy three terms in a row. I know. Brady, that was, that was for some brutal whiffs. Two. And I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, two mud kips. Let's go. Mud kips. But uh, great game, Brady. Uh, your deck was very good, and you did, uh, you did a great job piloting it. Those were some critical whiffs, so... Uh, Zach, you need some way. Oh, yeah. I really, I hope you guys are getting this insane feedback loop that I'm getting. Uh, let's, uh, let's just do this. This feels fine. I think I am actually going to put that down. Tackle. Yeah. Let's do it. And we're going to put that there. Sure. And I'm going to Cynthia because we just want to thin our deck as much as possible. <laughs> Honestly, these are the these are the turns that can lose you the game right here is if you just if you just don't draw anything off of like a Cynthia. <laughs> yeah, but the classic once, Cynthia of death. The, the classic death. Cynthia the, of death. Uh, right. Replacing the end of sex to death. Uh, I'm t- of death. I yeah. know. Right. Uh, but I'm telling you, if only we had a if only we had one of the uh, one of the little mud gentlemen in play, not the mud gentlemen, the Pipluffs. We only had a Piplup in play. We could have Rare Candy and Polion. Turn two. Uh oh. Oh, what's he doing? What are you ram. doing there? He's not gonna ram. Uh, I was gonna say he ain't got it like that. He ain't got no ram, bro. Primplup. Uh, yes, yeah, so we are gonna evolve into Primplup. Uh, no, this he's, guy, he's, he's got a retreat of three. Yeah, he, yeah. he very thick. Uh, I'm not I mean, into that. You can Let's, wear uh, candy. No, you can wear candy. Oh no, you can't. You put I'm gonna put there. Yeah, and then we're going to. For a minute, I thought the I was looking at the Piplup uh, or looking at the mud. I think I'm just going to attach this here and then now that actually feels kind of bad but that's fine we're gonna do that and then we're gonna Cynthia I Tackle. need to just get as many cards played as possible this is fine uh, though none of those are the swamp dad all right that's <laughs> we need the swamp dad oh no, no we need lap <laughs> oh very close okay very good uh, it is fine it's fine it's fine it's fine I'm not worried about it okay uh, we're just gonna retreat into him and then we're just gonna, you got it, sir. All right, I think we're gonna aqua patch onto the lap, yeah, to the lap guy. All right, so we're gonna aqua patch onto lap guy. And here we go. All right, your turn, uh, my Riley guy. Riley said we should have got Vulpix. Yeah. Should have got Vulpix. You're right. We should have got Vulpix. That's right, fine. One eight hundred call. Collect. I was, uh, I was like really set on the, I was set on the Lapras. Yes, we had, I had forgot that I threw the Vulpix in here, but that's fine. Riley, we're probably, odds are we're not getting punished here. Look at, you see how many Salazzles there are over here? I wanted the Lapras. All right. Slam <laughs> we're it. We're gonna go oh, in. Oh, he's got the Zork. Uh, we're gonna be fine. 
Yeah. Oh. But what are they going to do? Fill their bench up with fire Pokemon that I'm going to just destroy? They see I'm playing an Empoleon deck. They need to keep their uh, their bench as small as possible. Here's a Lelith. A Lelith. Here's a Tapith. A Tapith <laughs> Lelith. <laughs> oh, they're going to fan club. Fill the bench. Fill the bench. Go. Do it. Do it. I mean, they do it. also do damage if they fill the bench. I so know. That's, the, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. That's the beauty of it all. So I think here we're just going to go up with Lapras. We're going to attach another energy to Lapras, I think. And then I might just, you know, I might just go in. That's fine. Um, Why? Because, I mean, they're mm, going to 2 hit KO you. I, yeah. I don't know if I would attach it. I don't think I attach it. I just I just start going in on Napoleon's. You're right. I'm going to not. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's go. There's the let's man. Go. Let's go. Let's get in there. All right. So I think that at this point I'm going to get rid of the water. No. I don't uh, want to whiff. So I'm going to get rid of the water. That feels fine. Let's draw three and see what we get off of that. Timer balls, Kakui. Uh, we've got Piplup. Let's, uh, let's timer ball and go get ourselves some gentlemen Two here. heads. Woo. Yeah, so we're going to get an Empoleon, and we're going to get a Swampert. And you guys can see, now that we're at this point, right, we never want to play a shuffle draw card. We're just going to rest Super boost. All right. So we're going to get, uh, I actually don't think I want any of these yet. I think that we just want to do this. And then I actually kind of like going to get the Coco just to have a free retreater should things go bad. Um, but I might, I'm might. i just going to save it for now. And then let's just collect for three. See what my opponent does. So... Here we are, we've got counter energy. We're good to go on that front. Uh, we're gonna have ourselves an Empoleon next turn, which is also good. Uh, I think that the, you know, and now you guys can see, I don't want really, you never want to shuffle draw. We just want to do pure draw from here on out, which is why the how is actually not like the worst card Kukui. ever. Uh, and Kakui is good too, because you, it allows you to take some surprise knockouts on your opponent. So at this point, it really doesn't matter if my opponent even just like knocks out this Lapras, because the Lapras is kind of more or less done what it needed to do. Uh, I wonder what in the world do you think that they're doing with these Salazzles, Salazzles though? Uh, no, Riley, I like how. Have you Paralyze, seen this? Or a burn and poisoning you, maybe. Burn and poisoning me. Oh, you think Perhaps. that's what? It's... I don't know. It could be the GX. I don't. I can't remember what the GX does off uh -huh. right now. <laughs> Sean is a letdown. Wait, Sean, you weren't playing Lapras in your list? Was. Oh, no wonder he had two Vulpix in oh, there. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. He wasn't playing the the lap dog. Uh, so let's see. They're gonna Kakui themselves, and I don't think that there's any world in which they can like actually knock out a Lapras or anything. So that's just uh, that's good. Let's go. We got Cynthia. We don't really need Cynthia. I think we just want to power draw and see what we get. But we actually don't have too much that we want to power draw Lapras. away. Oh, he was playing. All right. So and two Vulpix. I could, I could actually just evolve here, and I could just, uh, yep. I could just Cynthia. Riley said they KO you if they hit the Salazzle. They probably do. If the they probably do play the, uh, the evolving with the right. data status condition. One. I think we like want to Guzma this turn. We don't play any switch cards, right? Like that's like a no go. I don't, think so. I don't think that we do. So I think like we want to Guzma. Have counter energy right now. I have counter energy. This guy's got a retreater too. Yikes. So let's uh let's see if we hit a Guzma. Sure. We'll we'll like we'll play. Let's see if we Friend hit. Right. We're gonna do that guy. We're gonna see if we hit a Guzma here. Uh, we got a Mudkip. That's not like the best. But we also have a TV reporter, which is like better than. Uh, so let's TV reporter first, because now we have a huge hand. So now we don't want to give up the hand, right? And now we've got ourselves. No, no, no. Oh, choose a, ugh, choose a card to discard. Thank God that didn't register. Okay, let's uh, let's go in with the Cynthia. I don't think that I actually want to play that card. So let's we're gonna discard that. So now we're going to rare candy into another Swampert, and now we get to, now we get to just draw like way more cards. So we get to power draw again. So that is very good. And I have a Guzma now too, but I can't play it this turn. So I think that I also need to be careful that I don't actually get rid of all my shuffle draw because I could just lose. Oh, uh, the Mudkip? Do you even need to power draw? I kind of want another, I want another uh, I Pimplup so. in play, yeah. Or another, Pimplup. Uh, what, whatever the-, the Pimplup. Pimplup, yeah, I want another, <laughs> I want another Pimplup. I actually need to be careful on them too because I only have so many basics in the deck. All right, There's so here's the next ball. ball. All right, so that's good. Yeah, get one of that, one of them boys. All right, so I have an Empoleon. I have another Rescue Stretcher. 
have one Cynthia in deck. So I just kind of need to... And you have a stretcher. I kind of need to be careful on that at this point. Uh, I think that I... Attach to the... Attach to an Empoleon. Yeah. Yeah. And then just kind of go from there. Um, I would attach to the water because they could play in hands. Right, right, right. They could. And then I, I think mean, that you I... have a big hand, but I like, just am going to collect. Yeah, judge. so... I mean, you're not going to do anything else. Right. I mean, like, I just need Pass, to be... Maybe, oh, we got but... two Piplups and an wa- Aqua nice. Patch. So that's really good. So at this point, like, once the Lapras goes down, I just need to go, like, knock out, knock out, knock out, and then just try to win the game. So that shouldn't be too bad because they're going to have to take out three big non-GXs, and I'm going to have a chance to knock out, like, three... Uh, let's see. Attach the water to Swampert since you can counter the Empoleon. Uh, I'm not actually sure. I feel like sketch about using the Swampert in this matchup. I guess it like it definitely could be good. I also do have two Aqua Patches, so I can like I can kind of whip that out of. Uh, I can't whip that out of nowhere. Does the counter energy not work on Swampert though? Right? Is no. that is that broken? No, it works right. They said you, people said they fixed it. Did they fix the, uh, did they fix? The super Boost, too. Was it Super Boost? It was not Kummer. I think it was Super Boost. Right. Is, uh, right, right, right. It, does the Super Boost work on Swampert yet, though? Do we know? Why didn't I stretch it for the Coco? Because I wanted to, uh, let's see, because uh, I wanted to save it for anything else, like Empoleons and stuff like that, and to help make sure that I don't, like, uh, I don't deck out. So that's kind of is another you know use of that card. So we're gonna go up with Empoleon, and then we're gonna see where we're at here. So uh, it was a waste of attachment. You're right. You're right, Riley. You're right. You're right, man. All right. So let's see here. Let's uh, let's just bench these guys now. Uh, we also need to power draw here once, and I want to get a rare candy like now. So let's take a look at my discard pile. I got a pimple up in there. I can. Uh, I feel like at this point I can rescue Stretcher once and throw like you know Coco, Coco. Pimp up and Mudkip back into the deck, but that's probably not needed. Uh, let's. Uh, how think many you waters do, it, do I have I think in the you discard do it after pile? You, power draw. you think I power draw first? Yeah, because you want to right. rare candy, so I put. And then let's back uh, into there. let's actually just get rid of a water at this point. I feel like that's probably fine, or the TV reporter too. But I don't. Like, I'm not going to really be digging like that. So we actually hit none of it. So at this point, I actually just actively do not want to draw more cards. So we're just going to like you wait to it hit out. it uh, naturally. I could stretcher. I want to see if my opponent has like some weird way to knock out uh, my my guy here. So at this point, we are doing, what, 200 perfectly, and then here's the choice bin. So we got it. Um, and we're gonna go down four. So I still have another turn where I can use uh, counter energies. I think I just rescue stretcher for a print pup and just like, just put it on, just to like, you can do that. I think as that that's what I do. Just to make sure, I don't think I'll deck. I don't think you will either. But... I think I'm taking three knockouts here. Um, so we're gonna get a Pokemon from the discard pile. I'm just getting the Primp up here. So we're gonna get that. I, I still have. Aqua Patch too. I still have one, uh, and I think I what, do. I double Aqua Patch to Swamperts. To a Swampert, uh, and then kind of go with that. I guess. Uh, I think. You want to make sure you. I think I I'm gonna so. Aqua Patch once to a Swampert. Uh, this turn, and then I can also Aqua Patch wants to uh this guy i think that, that probably just like leaves my board like the most stable possible so let's just do that yeah so we're gonna aqua patch once here as well and then let's just take this knockout and uh we're gonna go from there so yeah total command for knockout 230 damage pretty cool stuff so great and then now i just need to like kind of close out the game with guzma and you know, things like that. I do have, what, three Guzma in the deck? So we have plenty of Guzma. We just were not hitting those early on. Mallow might be as okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, the the whole point of, like, you know, why we're, like, sitting here, like, kind of, you know, bantering back and forth about the cards to put in this deck is because the whole thing is, like, setting up the engine. Once the engine's up, it's, like, beautiful. I mean, I only have nine cards left in deck. Like, you just, uh, you pretty much have access to, like, whatever you want. And it's just, like, not really a big deal. So... Let's see, they're going down. Do I have, what are my Kakui situations? Like I have one Kakui left. So I can like Guzma and knock something out this turn. They also are field blowering, but we'll have exactly nine Pokemon in play. So I can Guzma knock out the Lele and then I can attach another water oh, energy no. to my Swampert. Does anybody know, uh, does, I need to know, 
does uh, super boost work yes, on Swampert? Yes, it was patched. It's patched. Okay, because like I could actually just Guzma and knock out. Uh, I think I take the knockout with Empoleon one more turn, but then I like leave uh, potentially super boost on Swampert for like a game winning play. So I think that I am just going to dumbbells. Yeah. Plus 40 hit points. Yikes. All right, so we're going to do, um, yeah, we're going to Guzma this turn for sure. Thank you, Planet Mets. You rock, man. All right, that's actually very good for us. So we want to rare candy into another one of these guys. That's good. I don't think that I actually have any more basics, uh, but I do have a rescue stretcher left in deck, which I would like to hit. Don't you Just, have a Vulpix? Um, Oh, do I have a Vulpix in deck? I'm almost surprised. I probably have a Vulpix in deck, you but I, I feel like I want to power draw once just to... So let's power draw away that TV reporter. Let's be honest, I'm not playing that. So we'll do that. There's Cynthia. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's see. Is the Vulpix in deck? No. I just need to hit that. The Vulpix was never in deck, Sean. Uh, I just need to... Uh, or Riley or whoever. Uh, I do have Kakui in deck. I have Rescue Stretcher in deck. I have Choice Band in deck. So that's all good I mean, to you know. You could power draw again. You have a Cynthia. I do. I could power draw again. I have to Guzma this turn, though. Um, so that's that's fine. All right. So. Chances have only you played two. Uh, if only I played two, what? Vulpix. Vulpix. Oh, but we didn't need it. We went in with the, with the you know, the the daddy. Um, so. I think you just have to Guzma them. Don't power draw. I think. Uh, you think I just Guzma no power draw? Yeah, that's yeah. probably the case. And slap a water here. That feels I don't fine. Know. I mean, if you're not. That uh, right, so, yeah, yeah. This feels fine. So let's uh let's do that, and then yeah we're gonna Guzma the Lele, and then I think it's gonna get harder to knock that thing knock this guy out. I have one Aqua Patch left in deck though. Don't no all three in the discard pile. Okay, so we're gonna Guzma and we're gonna knock out this Lele here. Yo, what's up, Fantasty, Fantasy, Fantasty, Fantasy? Yo, all right. So let's uh I think yeah that's fine. Okay, we're just going to total command for knockout here. Go down to two prizes. At this point, like, I do still have two Guzmas. Oh, you only did 160. Oh, my gosh. Did I not? Yeah. Why? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I, oops. All right, guys. I, like, I thought I, I had didn't notice it either. I didn't notice it. I thought I was at 180. All right. So that's fine. We, okay, we are going to be totally fine. So, like, because I could have definitely got those cards. I have Choice Band and I have Rescue Stretcher in my deck. Okay. So that's fine. I just miscounted completely. Thought I was at 180, so that's fine. You guys are, we all out here. We're hanging in there. We're going to be fine. I can actually just Coco and like I'll hit it that way. That's just another way to do it, but we're going to be okay. And we're going to make this work. Uh, but yeah, so like that, uh, that was rough. No, I'm not going to shame concede because I need to keep my streak alive. So we're going to get five. So <laughs> I, uh, I was saying how I was at 180 and nobody was correcting me. So that was, yeah, uh, I didn't, I didn't really that was count. brutal. I just like, I thought, I just thought I had it. I was like, yeah, this is, this is 180. So uh, that's fine. We need to play a little bit more with the uh, the Empoleon here and actually, uh, you know, so we don't mess that up again. So that's fine. I don't think that my opponent will get a knockout this turn, in which case I can go get Coco and, like, make it happen. They could just Guzma. Uh, they just lay laid for something. Yeah. So what are they going to Guzma, though? They don't have knockouts oh, on anything. Yeah. So, like, they're, they're still in a horrible spot. Uh, I think that I'm fine. Can't forget that I'm 4-1. Did I lose? What did I lose to? I think I'm 4-0. I don't know. There was that. F oh, I did concede. I concede the first game that I rolled. I started the stream up, and I didn't even think. I didn't even know what deck I picked. So I just. Uh, I was like, I accidentally clicked play game. So I just like conceded right away. So that's fine. I do have to. I do have to pay attention more. I know, but I'm like out here talking, no, he's talking and trying. About to, else. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say. I know. I have to pay attention, but what is this? Oh, oh. give him to me. Yes, 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 yes. Very good, very good. Uh, I like him. Because what does he do? Discard all energy. Oh, okay. So I see what they've done here. They want to get rid they of the knock energy you out on the swamp. With, with no, I think they're gonna. They is can, they? They knock you out. Oh, do they? So that's a knockout. Diabolical claws. Oh, my opponent. I'm burned now. Look at diabolical claws. Read the attack. For each prize card you've taken. All right, so they're doing 200 damage with this thing. But then I'm going to return it, and then they have to have knockout on one of my guys, which can they even get that, though? Maybe not. I feel like they can't. So that's uh, that's interesting. I think he did just misplay. So I yeah, think I told you guys that I think I'm like, I think I'm totally fine. Uh, I think... Uh, you know, no problems here. Andrew doesn't get punished because his opponents will, you know, they're at, they're just gonna they're, they're gonna lob it to me, so that's yeah, fine. That's just uh, how this works. All right, so we need to just like save my deck so that I can rescue stretcher. 
Uh, <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> so I could just rescue stretcher and just go in uh, for the rest of the game here. I don't think they actually got it like that to knock out all my stuff here on the bench. So like, I think that I'm fine. I am going to attach this counter energy to Swampert though. Uh, so that then I could go super boost and just like knock out for game if I need to, or I could just Coco for game. Mm. So this is, this is a knockout, right? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. They're weak. Okay. They end their week. So we are just confirming to everybody here. We are taking a knockout. All right. Total command. Very good. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So I think I'm fine that I think they just punted it to me. I think that, you know, that's fine. This is great. So I think that, uh, you <laughs> had it, they had it till they evolved as a lasso. Uh, what if they like whoop out something like completely out of nowhere that I just didn't, you know, see coming? I don't think they could do, it's not possible. They'd have to Kukui and Devoured Field, right? Was that, would that get it? One, no, that's 150. So they can't do it. I think I just have too many hit points. Uh, I think that, you know, they're just, uh, you know, told you, told you this streak ain't ending. I don't care how many misplays I make, you know, we're, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Empoleon, Swampoleon, getting in there. So, what do they got? Acerola, that's fine. They thought that that was going to do it. It's not going to do it. I could totally just knock this thing out with Super Boost Guzma and just swamp it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to do, like, way more than enough damage to knock out, like, anybody at that point. So, they need the Salazzle. Well, I know, they need to knock all my energy off or something like that, but that's not, they, they ain't going to get it like that. So, I think they, they haven't GX'd yet, so... Riot is beating. Oh, we got there, guys. We got there, despite my miscalculation. So, all right. This is it, right? Yes. All right. So yes, I'm going to count. I'm going to count. Let's see. 80, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 12, plus 8. Okay. So this should be and enough. And a choice band. And a choice Why band. Do that too? And we're going to Guzma. And we're going to knock out that Lele. And we're going to, this should be it. I'm behind on prizes. Right. Okay. I have three, I have four stage twos in play. Hydro Pump. All right. Good game. All right. So we got there. 230 damage with Swampert for the game. And we did it. All right. Swampoleon. Excellent. I even miscalculated damage one turn and we were totally fine. You can see, like, even though my opponent went ahead in prizes real early, they, like, definitely ramped up really fast. They took out my Lapras easily. But the Lapras is there is kind of like a sacrifice, right? You sacrifice the Lapras, you draw, and as soon as you set up your board, you could, like, just come back way further. Needed to attack with another Slazzle GX or use Poison Burn to KO with Kakui. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I forgot that that was a thing. Yeah, they evolved the other, um, the other one, too. Uh, anyways, never punished. So let's play Zoropod. All right. So now, now that we're out here, uh, I think, dude, Spompoleon busted deck. We will play Decidueye. I promise Decidueye. We'll play Decidueye a little bit. I'm kind of trying to get like a nice little uh, nice little sampling of things here. So that's, uh, you know, that should be pretty cool. I'm trying to get like a lot of different decks that we got going on here and just uh, try to play a little bit of every one. I'm going to play one of every one. So I'm playing different decks and we're still 5-0. So that's pretty cool. Even though I haven't been grinding the same deck over and over again. And clearly like what's funny is, is uh, you know, I wish I was like very good at every single deck, right? But the sad truth is that I, I'm just like, I'm definitely better at some decks than others. So when I'm like playing like the round table here, like you guys really get to see that. So it's fine. I got no pride. It's it's all good. This is but the little bit of the This hand. is the, uh, yeah, this is the end where you lose. So okay, uh, yeah, we're playing against Guardy. Dude, what if we're playing against Swamp Guardy? Yeah, Guardy Swamp. Uh, can I post the Swamp Holion list somewhere? I have, uh, yeah, 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 I'll share it. I'll, I'll share it. Um, I guess I should do like a, Woo! there we go. We're good. We're good. We're totally good. I think we just get fan club, right? Ultra ball, Lele fan club. That seems reasonable. Um, I would, uh, yeah, ultra ball. I think. Um, At, and then get two Zeruas. Um, yeah, but make sure the fan club's in there. There's only one. Okay. So, so let's ultra ball away Kakui and <laughs> what would you do? Um, I guess it's fine. Yeah. Kakui yeah. and devoured yeah, field. Guess, yeah. That feels like the best um, to me. Yeah. As long as there's, you know. Uh, so let's see. So we're going to go get Lele and then one Lele in deck. Yikes. Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah, the fan, fan clubs. clubs there. uh, there's two Lele in the deck? Uh, no. Oh, there's no, three? fan clubs in there. There's two. Yes, there's two Lele. One's okay. prized. All right. One's prized. That's fine. What's up, Definition Potato? Welcome. 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 Very good. All right. So let's see here. I think that we actually... Yeah, we just go get fan club. Very good. And then we're going to go get ourselves two Zeruas. 
And that's just going to be it. I mean, I need to wimp out into something. I think I actually just wimp out into Zerua, uh, which is, you know, kind of odd. But I don't think my opponent's going to knock me out. And I actually have a pretty decent shot at knocking them out next turn. So we will just do that. Retreat into that guy and then pass. Pass Rooney. Your turn, don't my put, guy. Don't put four tails. Get the Dedenne assert dominance. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. You're right, Wimpo Squirrel. Should have gotten the Dedenne. So... Win streak says five, right? We're five zero. Oh. oh yeah, different decks. You're so technically five one apparently. Uh, definitely five. Technically, well, we started counting after we lost. Uh, we started. Uh, I didn't lose. I didn't lose. I scooped. That's not that's a, loss. a loss. Well, we didn't even see what my opponent was playing. I just scooped <laughs> immediately. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Matthew S. You have a ton of decks on PTCGO. Did you purchase codes and trade for the cards you needed? Uh, I don't know that I've ever purchased codes. I feel like I just kind of get them sometimes. I might have purchased codes once or twice, but usually I just amass codes after, you know, like I get product from tournament winnings or I uh, sometimes I'll buy a box, right, to get 36 codes and then also get some, you know, some playables. I think I bought three boxes from Full Grip uh, for Celestial Storm because I was trying to get raised really quick and that wasn't like the most efficient way to do it. Uh, I ended up having to buy six of them and then pulled two. So yikes, but that's fine. Uh, Apricorn Maker is a card that I'm like, back and forth on it. I know a lot of people are really hype on it and then some players are like not into it anymore and I think that uh, you know I think that this list is not playing Apricorn Maker it's playing Fan Club instead. I kind of like some decks are fan you know Fan Club's better like obviously in Vika Ray Fan Club's like way better because you don't play Nest Balls so you don't play it there and this is a Zora Guardi deck so that's interesting that's actually a great top deck for ourselves as well so let's do a couple timer balls here see what we end up ripping tails heads all right so that's good we got ourselves one and then let's timer ball again and see what we get and then this what oh sean no i'm sean are you oh. opening the cases for the there shop nice. i want to help nice we got two zorks and then we're gonna nest ball we're gonna get ourselves another zerua i believe um yeah i feel like we, yeah i feel like we just do i mean this is a tough matchup for sure because uh you know they have uh, they just have Guardi, so like that can be tough. So we're gonna see what we can do here. I think I get rid of the choice ban. Seems the most reasonable. Get two cards. Uh, both those are really good. Uh, I am just knocking out with knockout, so I think I just do that. Um, we just evolve and then just. Yeah, you don't have to trade. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. So we're just gonna knock out here. Riot is beating, and then we're gonna go from there. Oh, yeah, I'm I really want to keep. Cases tomorrow. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Oh, and we got a Lele there. So Woo! that's great. You see, you don't always want to trade. Sometimes you save the cards in your hand, obviously. These cards are all more valuable than a trade was that turn. I kind of had everything I needed to knock out the active. So we're good to go. Eric, I am going to Philly Regionals. So Natalie and I are both going to be there. We're going to be very uh, excited to be there. Definitely excited about the early trade the rainbow. Why? Did, I mean, I guess you can. This deck only plays what two rain, one, one two rainbow, two grass. grass. Yeah, one rainbow, two grass. That just feels kind of sketch, but I guess you can trade the rainbow. I was being a little conservative there by not. I just uh, I kind of like hanging on to my resources. I didn't really feel like there was anything that I needed there. So hello, thank you, appreciate it. Uh, you don't need to hold on to choice bands. Don't you? It's not. Like, don't you? Don't, you don't. don't I? Uh, let's see. So I'm doing like a hundred. Yeah, like I am gonna have to find another way. Either I'm gonna have to hit them for with this, but like I kind of I needed to draw something, right? So we had to like get rid of. Uh, we had to get rid of something there eventually. That's just uh, that's what was going on there. So I think they might not have room for enhanced hammer in their deck, which in that case I can. Uh, you know, I can attach the rainbow to my wind pod here and then just go in and, you know, maybe eventually crossing cut something or something like that. Um, maybe, you know, oh, why are they opening five cases? You guys are opening five cases for Philly, right? Um, yeah, probably for, That's at what, the shop. Yeah, yeah, it's at the shop. So they're opening five cases for full grip games and uh, they're going to be vending the Philadelphia Regional Championships. So... They're doing that. This is great for me. Okay, they're getting the Ralts out of there. They have, uh, you know, they have a DC on their active. At this point, uh, okay. At this point, I think, okay. 
Uh, I can knock out like something like a Lele, you know, eventually. I think that I probably want to just play a supporter card. I could go get an Acerola. Uh, that probably makes sense just to like heal a little bit. But mm -hmm. I kind of like like all these cards in my hand. So I think I am just going to do that. Uh, let's see. Riley said I could trade the rainbow. That seems fine. Okay, let's just let's trade the rainbow and see what we get. I think eventually I'm going to Acerola. That like seems like my mission here. Um, and we get a nest ball. Do we go? I think we save the bench spot for like Lele. We can do that. Yeah, because if you want Acerola this turn, you're gonna want exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we're just gonna do that. Yep. We're gonna get ourselves Acerola out of the deck. Very good. And we're gonna hit into the Zork, and then next turn we'll see if we can go for Guzma to take a GX knockout. So let's uh, just Ace Rolla that Zork there. We're gonna put this one into the active position, and we're gonna start drawing lots of cards. So here we go. We can do that, and then we could trade again. Did I mess up the trade thing? What did you, did you I just messed trade up. the Ace Rolla away? No, I messed up. I, I did mess up trade though, because I, I could have gotten three trades off this turn. Oh, so okay. I just. For a minute, I you traded the uh, I messed. I messed that up, guys. Yeah. So forgive me. I misclicked. Okay, but that's fine. We're we're out here. So. <laughs> <laughs> you said I messed up, and I looked and saw the Ace Rolla this card. I was like, oh no. Um. So yeah, I could have traded three times, but that's okay. I don't actually. I should evolve the Galisopod, yeah. and then everything else feels good. So I'm just going to attach DCE, and I'm going to enhance hammer. Let's not forget that, my opponent. And let's just hit for 120. So very good. I know, Riley. I already I caught it. I messed it up, man. It's because, uh, you know, I've just been, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We're misclicking all over the place. So it's all good. We out here. We're still we're still fine. We're never punished. We haven't been punished so far. So <laughs> What's, uh, why change now? We're totally good. Uh, let's see. What do you and Natalie think of the Dark Prism Stadium? Do I don't know what that don't is. Don't know what it does. To be honest, I haven't gotten a full look at Dragon Majesty yet. I haven't really checked out all of the scans yet. So they too have Acerola. I see. Very interesting. And they're going to kind of play that same game as me here. So that's fine. I do have Guzma DCE in my hand, so I could go knock out like a Ralts or something like that, I guess. Uh, once they hit into this thing, that is an option. But... I uh, I haven't really okay so they're just pal pal yeah they're gonna pal pad those back into the deck I think it's getting to be about that time where I want to pal pad some cards like that back into my uh, discard pile as well we have Judge um, and we have Guzma all right I'm gonna trade away the Ultra Ball and just we want to just draw into a Zorark just naturally let's trade away the Wimpod here yeah. And let's see what we end up getting. We got Rescue Stretcher. That doesn't really help us yet. We've got Guzma. I feel like at this point, I kind of just take a uh, knockout on a... Uh, we could knock out the Zerua, which could like keep them from drawing things. They um, can't take Zerola. Uh, and then it's mad because you're not hitting into the active anymore. Right. I don't know. Um, I feel like that that is like, kind of good for me. Um, and, then, uh, and then we kind of just like go from there. I think... You know, at this point, I probably want to... I was kind of, like, greedily hoping that I could get two Acerola in the discard pile to pal-pad them both. But I think, like, eventually they are going to get their knockouts. So let's just... Uh, I actually kind of like Guzma the Zerua. Yeah, yeah. Riley, Riley agrees with me here. We got to just do that. And, uh, yeah, so there we go there. And I think I, I still kind of want to save the pal-pad, though I think at this point, like... I, I'll yeah. save it for next turn. Next, like you never know really what we top deck. We, there's no point in using it right now. You're not gonna trade so we anything, just see, so. we just see what we top deck. So we're gonna go in for that, and we're gonna see how that goes. So we got ourselves down to four prizes. My opponent, another hand hammer. That's really good. So my opponent, like, could easily go down to four prizes themselves if they knock out my Zorark. If they do, I've got rescue stretcher in hand and another enhanced hammer. So that's pretty good. And I want to kind of limit their draw for sure, because if they can just start to get guardies and energy into play, if they can, you know, create a guardie that one hit KOs my uh, my Zoroarks, I'm just kind of in a world of pain that's just like really bad. So uh, Swamp Guardie is better. I I mean I don't know. I've had close games with both. I think uh, I lost actually a Zorark guardie once because I wasn't playing healing and they were. So that was tough when I was playing Swamp or Gardevoir. But if uh, and the game would have been, and it also like came down to like an energy whiff. So they've got everything they need now. I think this is pretty much game over, right, guys? So I think we do play one. Uh, we play one Ranguru. 
see at this point yeah three six nine twelve fifteen i mean there's just like i have enhanced hammer though so that's kind of what we need to lean on this turn is in that enhanced hammer and try to keep energy out of play that way so very good very good all right see i also have guzma now i think that we let's see all right, I can rescue stretcher just for the one Zorak back. I can also Guzma something. I think I need to hit into this Guardi. Uh, e Hammer, the Guardi. Right, and Judge. Okay, that sounds fine. I think I, uh, yeah, I do get the Pokemon from Radius Carbo back in my hand. I'm going to get the Zorak back. And, yep, we're going to. I think. I'm saving the Palpat at this point seems kind of greedy. I feel like I just put in a Guzma or a Kukui and an Acerola. I think the Kukui is good because the Kukui could help me. Does it actually help me with any uh, math here uh, against the Guardi? I don't believe so. I don't think so either. Let's, uh, yeah, Zorak is definitely not the only good thing in this format. No, it's definitely not. All right, let's just enhance Hammer, uh, the Guardi there. We're going to take that DCE off. And then I think I'm going to save. I'm going to save that. Let's just judge. Okay. So then I have one Zora can play. So we're going to hope that they just like can't really draw all that much off of this. Whereas I have two trades. They only have one. So we also are hoping for like a choice band. Uh, it does help, does it, Riley? Thank um, you. Uh, Devoured Field 100. also kind of helps. I guess right it, now. yeah, it helps if you, um, if you first impression after a, uh, yeah. Um, after uh, hitting for 100 with Zorark. Okay. So let's see. I could Ultra Ball here. I think I have to, right? Um, if I... Yeah, and cross I think I have to. I have to Ultra Ball here. And then I'm going to Pal Pad to throw some things back into the deck. So I have to play... If I do 110, 90. So then 90... Can I do 140? Is that all I'm doing? 110, 90? Yeah, I'm doing 90. So if I do 90... To you can this do thing, with a, can I do 140? With Is that possible? First impression and uh, first impression and a uh, choice. Band it is possible. So I this makes a difference. So let's let's do that. Um, you think you get the cocoa on free retreat? Okay. What yeah. Let's do. Um, cocoa seems good. Yeah. Uh, let's get that. If you need a first impression, you need to pivot into it. I think. Right. right. I don't think they're not going to knock me out though. They're not going to knock you out. Yeah. You're probably right. So yeah, don't get the cocoa. I think. I, mean, I don't see get... what else you would get, though. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get him. Uh, and then we want to pal pad also. And I think I want to shuffle in the Acerola and the Kukui now um, just to get those back into the deck. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, let's do that. Uh, we're going to get Acerola and Kukui. There you go. Okay. So, a little tight here, you know, it's fine. We're just going to stay the course. Oh, we're doing 110. Why are we well, doing 110? Another Pokemon on your bench. Oh, okay, very good. I was thinking, yeah, 120. Oh, right, 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 very good. So, like, now this really matters. So, I need, like, if I hit Kukui or whatever, then, uh, you know, we can get the knockout if we Kukui. So, that's very good. And we'll see how here. things go here with my opponent's draws. We gotta hope that they just kind of have a very middling turn where they don't have Acerola. Gosh, if they like Acerola Rare Candy Guardi, I'm gonna be like salty. <laughs> but you know, we gotta kind of hope that that doesn't happen. That would be ideal. We only have two trades next turn. Our other Zerua is prized. Uh, so we, I think, I feel like I would have gotten the Zerua if that yeah. was like an option available to us. But I kind of had to rescue Stretcher and play my rescue Stretcher for the immediate Zorark. Uh, yes, the Devoured Field is like super relevant right now. That definitely helped me out. So I think, does this play two Choice Band, right? Three. Three, oh, excellent. So I do have an out to get Choice Band back as well. They're just going Twilight. to Twilight. So that's like really good for me because if I just hit the knockout here, that is going to be insane. I have a bunch of outs to hit the knockout. I can hit... Uh, choice ban, I can hit Kukui, and those are it. I also could hit uh, uh, the first impression. So if I hit a grass as well, I could just retreat and hit into it with Galisopod, and that will be really good for me. So they're throwing like all the juice back into their deck. Very good. Okay, understandable. Uh, and I need to rip this turn. Woo! I know, I know. Why even play this game? We're fine. We're, we're great. Okay, so I think... All, trading the Guzma also feels bad right now, but I will have one Guzma left in deck. 
If I do, I feel like I just get the knockout, and then I'll have four cards in my hand to work with. Do you really? Or I'll have more cards because I'm ripping two prizes. Do you really need to trade? I don't, I don't think I need to trade. Yeah, I think I'm I fine. Mean, uh, yeah, just I'm KO just gonna. It. I am gonna just KO it. Yeah. Like so. Let's just do that. So that's amazing. Uh, great there. I think I saved my Guzma since I only have two left. So that's good. Right. Uh, you think Riley says trade the Guzma. I, if I hit grass, I just win because you think I just go up with the Galisopod. That's fair. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I feel like I, I would hate to get myself into a box where I just like I can't win the game because I don't have a Guzma or something. And I didn't actually see that my, uh, I didn't see if my last Guzma was in deck. So Riley, so I don't really know if my fourth Guzma is in deck either. So I think I that think I kind of I, I didn't see it though. So I just uh, like I'm being safe. Riley said that I should have traded the Guzma. But, uh, I guess it's that's kind of like weird judgment call. I just uh, you know I, I feel kind of safe now with like a bigger hand, more resources. Could set up crossing cut on a Lele. You're yeah. right. Like that would have definitely helped. Uh, and they have like tons of Acerolas and stuff in their deck now so like i do need to be a little bit wary of that that it could be hard for me to close out the game because they've really like stacked their um they've really stacked their deck to it's... just be like really good now so i think as long as you get the grass as long as i get the grass this turn yeah it's good okay. but then like i think you know so riley was saying yeah. like the further i dig into the deck the more outs that i have to be able to get that grass so like i get it uh, and then I just have to hit my one game-winning Guzma, so long as it's in deck. But I didn't see that it was in deck. So it could have been. You guys at home could have seen that. But I just have been focusing on other things. So uh, let's see. Riot is beating here. Let's go see what we have going on in the old deck now. There's a DC, so that's good. Let's trade. Let's just uh, let's start out by trading away that nest ball. Don't need that. And then we're going to have two more busted. All right, so that's good. And then I feel like I also I also have the Guzma in my hand, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we also just trade away um, the yeah. Zerua. Yeah. And then we just start going as deep as we can for that last choice band. Uh, we're just going to hope that we see it. So either way, my opponent has to can, ace a roll of this thing. Real quick? Um, okay. One. Yeah. Yeah. My opponent has to ace a roll of this thing next turn. So that's just like the boat they're in. And if they don't ace roll of this thing, then I can obviously go in and, you know, Guzma knock out for game. Uh, I could have win this turn if I had a great. You're right, Riley. I could have. I could have. I just didn't know about the Guzma. So it's being a little bit conservative there. So that is, uh, yeah, that is. I know. 6 0. Gangsta Gonzo is calling it already. 6 0. Busted. We are on a busted streak. We'll, uh, we'll play till we lose. I think that sounds fair. That or we could just have like an undefeated stream and just be like, whatever, 10-0. Let's stream. see if we go 10-0. <laughs> think we can go 10-0? I don't know. I don't know. I, gotta, I do have to I have some things to do tonight, but I'm mostly mostly just chilling. Uh, it is a little bit grindy. Those, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, geeky. Uh, <laughs> I've had enough. Sorry, man. You were yeah. pushing it already. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So... Oh, they do have the Acerola, so that's fine. We need that final choice band to be able to win with Galisopod. If we don't hit that final choice band, uh, we could be in a little bit of a sketchy spot here because they're going in. They're going to like start building up a gigantic. Um, if you're glad, you're right, you're right, Riley. I think that I probably do just trade there. Either way, I was going to end up attempting to dig for like one final card, right? Uh, I five one right. I might lose this game. I could lose this game. It is possible. I could you know potentially lose the game, but we're gonna try to not. That's the uh, that's the goal here. We need to just rip choice band. We'll be fine. We see like at least five cards off the top here. We're totally fine. And all we need is the choice band. So can I actually get a basic with this nest ball before I start trading? Um, let's uh let's find out. Okay, so. Uh, I can. The answer is yes. And I can also go in with a Rangaroo uh, if I need to. So the Pokemon of choice is a Rangaroo. Yeah, we go get a Rangaroo. Yeah. Yeah. Find a friend. In case we need to do that. <laughs> and then we go for win. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so I will trade away the Coco. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Choice band. Choice band. Choice band. Choice band. Choice band. Yikes. All right, and then we need to. Oh, I only have one. Oh, yikes. Okay, so I forgot I only have one trade because one of my Zoroks got knocked out. So I think that we... You could uh, find flip. 
Flying Flip, and then Guzma, right? That doesn't actually get it, though. Um, you How many DC do you have down? If you don't have enough, like, you might be out. Oh, no. You'll no, I have one more. left. Okay, so I could... Um, I could profound or resource management. Um, I could also armor press something. That feels kind of bad. Uh, we can't really do that. Uh, Kukui could get me nothing. It doesn't really get me anything, but it does get me to see more of my deck. So I feel like we kind of have to do that. Um, there's the choice band, of course. Okay, so at this point, I think that... I think since I'm you doing Kukui, you should just flying flip. Flying flip, yeah. and then that does 40, right? Uh, yeah, but that will only do 40 to the active. It does, it does fit, it does, uh, or 40, but then you have a, you, uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. So no, it, but you definitely do it, and then you put, uh, you put 20 on everything, and that way you can knock out the, um, oh. the Lele with crossing cut. Do I have DCE? Do you I have, should it? have one. Is it in the deck, though, I, or is it prized? I don't know. I didn't see either. Um, okay. What? What is no? Okay. Do you, no. Um, I think that we actually, you're right. You're right. All right. So we're going to hope that it's in the deck. Okay. And then we're going to have to trade, I guess, once into... And you can also just first impression with a choice band for that Lele for the knockout. Mm -hmm. You don't even need... Um... Oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah, yeah I have so... 150 on the Lele. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Do I have another Kukui list? Yeah. Then I should have another Kukui left. Um, it's just kind of a tough spot right now. So we're just going to flying flip. And they can't heal everything. That is the goal here. I know they, I think they do, the DCE is they in can't deck. They Thank can't you, heal Kenny. both Lele's either. They can't so heal both yeah, Lele's. So we should be okay. They would have to have some sort of a, you know, pretty wild turn here. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Oh, yeah, here it goes. They got it. No, well, Secret's they don't have a free retreat, though. Ah, yes, they do. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. They got it. All right. Ah. Oh, uh, streak's over. They got there. So uh, you're right there. Jeffrey, I do not have a bump in my hair. This is just how big my hair is. I know. I know. The streak <laughs> is over. Sad. streak's over. Riley was right. We needed to trade. He knew it. He saw it. Riley is the ultimate Zorar player. Uh, he, he saw that. He saw that happening from like five turns away, right? And that's the thing is I'm not as experienced with Riley with the deck. So he kind of saw that that was, that was going to be the end game of what ended up happening. And it did. And he was right. So shout out to Riley for predicting that one. I didn't want to trade the Guzma then. I know, Riley. I, I know. <laughs> I should have. I should have. I'm telling you, Riley. I know you were right. That's all fine, though. That's good. Let's uh, let's do. That's of course I lose on the first time I try to play Zora. Gosh, I, I told you guys I played a Sidewai. So uh, we're playing. This is Riley's Decidui list because Riley is my friend who makes all of these Zora decks, not me. So that is uh, that's how that goes. So. This is Riley Zorark to Sidewise. Shout out to Riley for the dope list. We're gonna try and see if this can do anything. I know the streak's over. It's fine. We won so many games that we weren't supposed to win that it's uh it's actually just uh it's totally fine, you know, because we really robbed our opponents on like multiple occasions today. So, yeah. you know, it's all good. It's all good. good hand. This is a great hand. Honestly, what else do you want look out of a that deck? Full art Apricorn maker. Like, I know, it's a beautiful, a beautiful it? card. Yeah, check this I've out. I've never seen that card before. Here he is. Oh, he's Full nice. art Apricorn. Is that supposed to be Kurt? Who's Kurt? From the gold and silver where he makes the balls out of the Pokeballs out of the Apricorn? Jason, that, that first game does not count. <laughs> <laughs> is that first supposed to be Kurt? That doesn't look, is that really Kurt? I Anybody know. know this? He's the know. old man from gold and silver that mm -hmm. makes the Pokeballs out of the Apricorns. Oh, major yikes! But that's fine. We can set up. Uh, Oop, we can set up our, uh, our our gentleman, and we're gonna be totally fine. All right. So let's see. I think we go in with two of those, and we get ourselves. Does anybody know who Kurt is? They have to. Uh, I don't know who Kurt is. Like definitely. Well, you're no. not a real Pokemon fan anymore. What are you talking about? <laughs> People I... say that all the time to you. Yes, it's Kurt. Thank you, David. I thought so. I am a, a completely <laughs> authentic Pokemon player. I don't know what in the world you guys are talking about. Uh, I am an authentic Pokemon fan. I uh, played... Kurt doesn't look like that. That's what I thought, but it. You know, but it's it you know it makes sense. It fits with the. Uh, Been playing Pokemon theme. my whole life. You don't know who Kurt is, man. He's so I iconic. I mean, I played red and blue a lot, okay, and then I played gold. I played yellow. I, played I did gold play. And silver, I played crystal version the most, honestly. I didn't have gold or silver. I had crystal. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get that. Flying flippo says Riley. And you think get the flying flip? All Not right. Yet. Well, you don't have to get it necessarily. I don't think right. And um, I also have the just... deoxys in here. Yes, yeah, so that's cool. I feel like I just go <laughs> is, get... That's a promo? I've never seen uh, that before. I feel like I just go get another Zeru. Do I have... No, that's that's probably fine. I can... Kurt is bald. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah gonna... I didn't think that looked like we're him. We're going to but... do this. We're going to get like just a lot of these guys in play. 
And then we're going to Ultra Ball whatever our top deck is away for a Lele, probably. Yeah. yeah. And then get a draw support next turn. get a top deck one next turn. Yeah, yeah. So let's go. Let's go. So we're going to be good. He looks like my dad. We're going to Ultra Ball away. <laughs> The field blower. I think Riley, your list didn't have a no. Get him. I'm not getting him, Riley. We're getting three decidui out. Turn two. All right. Turn two. Uh, but looks like there's a garbage reaction coming out. And also this uh, this active guy. He's like not getting knocked out anytime soon. So he is gonna join the party one day. Just not quite yet. So I want th I want three decidui in play. I'm very greedy for the decidui. Let's go. Oh, I was said I was going to ultra ball away my top deck, but now I don't want to. Riley, did your list play field blowers? I feel like uh, I feel like I might have added that. I'm not sure if your list played field blower or kind of am spacing on that right now. That's what I'm saying. So, wait, 5 1.5. 5, 1. 5. No, no, we're 5 and what? <laughs> All right, let's uh Let's go get ourselves don't, a supporter. Don't shuffle in before you rare candy, please. You're, you're right. Okay, you're right, Natalie. I'm going to totally make sure that I do the rare candy first. So let's do that. And then, yeah, now you can play. <laughs> I like Wimpo's comment that it's maybe been a long time since Gen 2. Maybe Kurt's hair grew back because he's bald <laughs> in the games and then the April Maker has long hair. All right. Dude, three to Sidgwai. Easy. One to right. We got one to Ram. Uh, you're right. Woo. I am. Sorry for the clap, guys. I forgot that the mic's right there. The mic is right there, but that's fine. We are going to, we are finna Ram, though. Um, you don't need them. Uh, I wanted them though, Riley. I wanted them. Let's, uh, I think that we, that Leafage. feels bad. They're just going to knock that out for 20 yeah. damage. That's like it's a major feel it. bad. Yeah, we're joking, totally but, going know. here instead. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's, that's fine. And then, you know, if I'm just going to knock that out, then we can like hollow hunt, you know, and then for things we don't need, they probably play shrine though is the thing. So I need to like be low-key kind of uh you know i need to be a little bit wary of that i can go get my field blower back which is good how many field blower in this list riley did you put any is there any field blower in here i think i, I thought there were but i don't remember. I feel like there's two uh field blowers in here so that's fine i'll have to go get them eventually but uh it's all good it's all good riley was saying get the cocoa i guess now that we're seeing this whole field of, of gentlemen here we probably do want <laughs> He's like, if only there was a tap of coke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Riley. Wikipedia confirms that Kurt is, in fact, the apricorn maker. Oh, wow. His That's hair grew confirmed, back. Huh? I'm proud of him. All right. Riley, you know what? When you're right, you're right. Okay? I should have had the cocoa you out. You should have just named it Kurt. So that's there's a max potion. That's fine. We play some Guzmans in here, right? We got some Guzmans in this deck. Let's, uh, hmm. Feel like Perhaps he doesn't know he's changed it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> changed the list a lot, right? I also, I also was like fiddling with this list, so I don't, I don't know. Um, psychic Otto will be Riley good. Riley is our friend. Uh, psychic Real will friends. also be good against How this. How many of them? So I feel like I actually do have to like kind of attach this energy to the active, just because I've got myself in this weird like situation now where I don't actually have a lot of mobility, um, or I could just save it and. I could attach to the Deoxys, which is fine as well. Uh, let's. Uh, Kurt could have grown a mustache. Yeah, let's let's do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that, and then we're going to judge. All right, we're gonna do that. So this is our this is our, our plan for the moment, for the time being. Okay, and then we're going to hollow hunt after we evolve this, and after we place our feather arrow. Very good. Let's do that there. Good, and then uh, let's see two, four, six. Um, let's see, psychic two, four, six, eight, eighty. So that's good, but it resists. That's bad. Okay, let's go in and yeah. So we're gonna hollow hunt GX. There we go. So we're gonna get ourselves a field blower. We're gonna get ourselves a rare candy. Um, and we're gonna get ourselves a young Cynthia. That feels good. Okay, that's great. Ship it. Who needs Zorark? Done. And we're going to go in like that, and then, uh, I don't know, we'll see where we're at later. Eventually, we're going to want to get ourselves a Guzma, and eventually, we're going to want to get ourselves that Max Potion. But, you know, the Decidueye, Decidueye can chill up here for a while. He's uh, he's chill. He's cool. But see, Riley, we do have three Decidueye in play. I did know I was going to do that, but it's fine, you know. We did want the Coco. The Coco would have been good, admittedly, but it's fine. The, uh, you know, 
We're going to get three Decidueye out, and then we're just going to be like two hit KOing everything. So that's very good. We do need to be a little bit wary of how many items we have in the discard pile, how but four. Four. It's not like a ton. Like yeah. one, two, three, four. And then we're going to have five, six. Yeah. But I actually don't know if it's, and the Field Blower just feels like kind of like Shrine decks. The thing is, like, Field Blower is so bad against Shrine decks because, like, they just play it and then they just have it. They're like, oh, thank God, I get to put this one out of my hand. They, like, definitely have other shrines that they're just kind of sitting on all the time. But I do get to get rid of that annoying choice band as well, so that's good. Let's uh, let's just evolve here, and then let's also rare candy and evolve here, and then we are going to um, yeah, let's field blower these. My opponent like definitely is just sitting on it, but that's all good. And we're gonna Cynthia and hope that we draw into his Auroch or something, and we can start trading, drawing cards. That'd be good. Okay, okay, so that's that's all that's all fair. I actually am just gonna think double grass retreat that decidui. Um, and then just go in and, and psychic that. Jeffrey thing. says we should switch glasses to make things more interesting. Our prescriptions are close <laughs> enough that I think we could see. It actually would be yeah. probably fine, yeah. yeah. So let's uh let's go duh, triple feather arrow onto the who I see he's doing two four six eight. So he's doing uh two, um, four, six, eight. So he's doing sixty. Resistance. So I do need to feather arrow yeah. once. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, the trainer challenge is a great way to get packs. And then if you're let's just starting to uh, let's feather arrow. I guess this other hoopa again. That feels like the place to put the feather arrows. Very good. And then I think we have a third energy. Hopefully this list. I don't think the list. I don't think Riley's list playing super boost. I wish it was, but I don't think it is. So we're gonna do that. And I don't think that there's any point in ultra balling for the Zorak yet. So we're just going to psychic here for knockout. Very good. You go, Deoxys. You do you do your thing, man. You do your thing. One prize. That's fine. Uh, I am going to pay the retreat, Riley. Come on, man. You know, Riley, Riley, ye of no faith anymore. <laughs> he, is, he is the one of uh, zero faith. So this next turn, we obviously get the Zorark. Uh, if my opponent, you know, knocks that out, we get the Zorark, and we hope that we get enough energy, or we hope that we find our DCE to take care of that. But He's my opponent... Up the big boy. Yes, is looking to attempt to kind of stall me out here. So I see your methods, young sir, but I have top decked a Guzman. All right, so this is uh, excellent. I feel like at this point I do go get the Zork, and I just uh, I Ultra Ball away these guys uh, because I want to see um, I want to see other cards. So let's get a Zork, and then let's trade uh, away the Judge. And I'm like looking for some healing cards, looking for some DCEs. I just like want to, yes. there we go. Okay, that's good. So at this point, I'm, gonna, I'm doing like, I'm actually not doing a lot, but I can just hit into that Garbodor, which actually feels pretty good. Uh, we're doing like uh, 40 to it, so that's fine. And then we could just continue to snipe other things here on the bench. So let's just do that. Very good. Put that thing up to... Uh, put that thing up to a hundo, very good. And then I feel like, I feel like we could be greedier on this max potion. Like we don't need to play it yet. So maybe not. I don't think I need to. I'm feeling fine. Let's do that. So, doink. All right, that's cool. So now, let's see. Now that thing's at forty. I'm like a little bit shy. I should have feather out this once. So yeah. I, I did that wrong. Well, no, but that's fine. Next turn. Um... If they knock me out. With Trash Lance, I wanted to be oh, able to Oh, okay. They can knock you out. If, yeah. I think the Guzma was just because they didn't really have anything, though. Right. So if you um, if he doesn't, you can hit it for 40, Feather Arrow twice, and Feather right. the Hoopa for double knockout. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I should have done that, but that's all good. I also need to try and avoid... Oh, they have Acerola. Okay, so there he goes. He really wants that thing out of the active. It's fine. I'm actually glad that I didn't Feather Arrow it now, so that's, uh, that's cool. And then are they just trying to buy more time? They can instruct, but uh, yeah, they can instruct, but they don't really have anything else going on here. Let's see. So we've got ourselves Max Potion still probably waiting on that. My opponent doesn't really seem to have too much going on. I think that, I mean, but Psychic is not, you're right. I'm mean, Riley, at this point, we would have been doing better with a Coco. You're not wrong. Um, I think you might max potion now. Let's uh, let's feather over that and just take care of that though. Let's okay. knock that out. Uh, take that prize. That's good. We kind of want to get off the sledgehammer turn, so like that would be helpful. 
Uh, what are you? What were you saying that you think I, I do, think Natalie? You probably max potion. Probably max potion. Now. I don't know. I mean, you could wait. But, I could wait. Um, if they knock out, if like Guzman knock out your decision, that feels kind of that bad. like definitely is a feel bad. So let's just. Uh, I can't Guzma anything this turn. Let's feather arrow again. That's just yeah. We need to feather arrow this thing for knockout here. And then I don't have anything else that can knock this out. Like, so yeah, we they, are a little bit stalled out right now. Uh, but that's that's like I fine. I think he probably max potion. So I, there's like nothing that feels super great to trade away. Um, you think I look for another Guzma? I kind of like want to find another Guzma though. I'm going to trade this with you. It's fine. And see what we get. We've got another max potion. Okay. So at this point, uh, yeah, we just are having this Deoxys. And yeah, I'm going to be a little bit greedy. I think I'm going to be a little bit greedy. I don't think he's got it like that. I think that if he... If he does, like that's that's fine. So let's just psychic short. We're just gonna do that. Let's say consider not KOing the Hoopa. I think I was just like digging for more resources. Like, yeah, he is on sledge right now. He needs like rainbow. I, and I assume like it's not gonna be the easiest for him to pull that play off because he needs rainbow energy and like because he's playing dark. So I assume he's also playing rainbows. So he's gonna need like rainbow Guzma to get the sledgehammer. I think at this point I'm kind of just. There it is. Did he get the Guzma though? Cynthia. Okay, so I'm like fine with that. That actually just like opens up my board a lot if they finally can like clear this Deoxys out of here. So it's possible that I should not have played the Deoxys, but it's it's all good. This is uh you know it's a learning experience for me as well. Learning experience that I should just like definitely listen to Riley all the time, who tells me to do the right plays most of the time because these are uh, decks that he is good. He's definitely in his wheelhouse now with the Zoark decks, so he knows what he's talking about. And he ripped the switch, so that's pretty good. And he's going to be able to sledgehammer. So that's fine. I do get just a clean knockout on this buzzwall, so that's like not really a problem for me. So I can't take it off of um let's see how many items do I have in the discard pile? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yikes! Seven. So that's like not great, but uh it's fine. Uh, I think that we do go up with the Zorak here. Um yeah. I don't see anything else. Yeah, that you that's promote. that just seems like the best. Um, you a max potion, please. I do need a max potion. Let's see here. Okay, so I'll max potion this guy, but now I'm at eight, so I'm at one sixty, and they're doing one ninety with the band. Uh, if eight, I do don't nine, put this resistance. yeah, if I do nine, they'll be at two ten. So like either way, this Zorark's a goner if they attack with the Garp. So like that's just a, a fact. Yeah. So let's uh, rescue stretch or something back. I actually kind of want the, uh, at this point, I feel like the Deoxys wouldn't be bad. Put a Pokemon from our discard pile in our hand. Don't you want the Poco? I feel like, uh, I feel like just taking out the Garb when it actually attacks will be like Probably. good. So like we're gonna get that guy back and then let's just do that. And then we also kind of have to trade because like that, I mean, that Garbodor is just, like, kind of filthy and knocking all my stuff out at this point. So uh, I kind of have to do that. And then let's just Cynthia. I don't actually mm -hmm. kind of think I want to play any of these max potions yet. So time to forget the items and let them fly. Right. I think I'm kind of, like, in that zone. I really – I probably should just be playing everything. You're right. Um, so let's – I'm doing exactly 120. So I could just Feather Arrow probably that Garbodor three times. And then we're going to go in with that. Why the Garbodor three times? Because that's the guy that I'm scared of knocking me out. But he's got two. Oh, I guess he's that got, one's got the choice band. band on it. I don't know that it makes a difference, but I feel like that's probably the best. So, like, that's just that's just where we're at. So, yikes. Okay, so I think at this point, yeah, I need to, like, thin my deck. I should have played this stuff before, but that's that's fine. Okay. And we're going to ride speed. Okay, so, yep, should have had a Coco out earlier to damage some more things, but that's all good. We got a Lele. That's good. It's not bad. Definitely helps. So next turn, we could promote the Deoxys. We can knock out, uh, you know, we could probably, if they put something up, I'm doing 80 damage to it with Deoxys, so that's pretty good. How many DC do you have left? Uh, I think I have a few. I have two. Two. Yep, so, and I'll be able to Lele for supporter so long as I don't have... I have Cynthia's in deck, so yeah, we have. Well, I have one Cynthia in deck. Yikes! So could be could be a little rough there, but I have like you know I have things worked up here. The three decidui is helping. It is a 
you know, it is helping. My opponent's promoting this Garbodor here. I could double knock out, the good thing is I could double knock out both Garbodors this turn if they attack with the Garbodor. So I just need to prevent them from winning with, uh, you know, winning. So they would have to bench a Trubbish this next turn. And they also did just play a Rainbow. And they have 26 cards in deck, which is a lot. They have a lot of cards in their deck, so they might not hit their rainbow. Like, they're thinning now. They're going for a instruct play here. Oh, well, they're in Cynthia. Okay. So, they have to hit a rainbow. It's not guaranteed they hit it. I imagine if they hit it, they're just slapping it down. So, I think that they didn't hit it. That's like Oh, they did. Okay, they're lagging, or they're just they're just considering the options. There they go. They got trash lands. Okay, I was thinking that maybe they didn't. They did 200 damage, but they I if I hit the DCE, I can knock this thing out, and I can just like how because uh, I think I'm doing what I'm doing, doing like 80, 80, right? Yeah. Yeah, 80. Yeah. So then I do two snipes, and then oh, I don't double yeah. knock out. Okay, I thought I, I double knock out. I thought I had double knock out. I don't have double knock out. So major yikes. That's fine. We need to just hope they don't have Guzmo, I guess. We kind of have to go for Judge. Um, so that's just uh, that's just what we got going on. I think we go for Judge. One DC in deck. I mean, that's like a little bit tough, but I think like, I think we kind of have to. I mean, what do you think, mm -hmm. Natalie? Or they might not have Rainbow Guzma in their hand. They might not. Let's just, uh, let's, let's dig. They might. It's, I think it's probably more important that you hit the, the, the DC. Knockout. Yeah, 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 I agree. Cynthia, we need we have one DCE. Um, yes, I understand the consequences. Let's go. Come on, DCE, show it to me. Nope, not in there. Okay, so that's a major whiff, sir. Okay, so we can we could do all those. Knock out that bench one. Uh huh. I do have a DCE prized. Ah. Yeah. So. Um, which, so this is a one in three shot of ripping it here. All right, let's go. Let's go, DC. Come on. Sad. Lame. Sad. <laughs> uh, okay. So now we need to consider that they just need to not have, like, Guzma for game, which is, like, really bad for me because uh, they could hit Guzma for game pretty much everywhere. So I think that there's, like, no point in playing the Max Potion yet. Let's just, uh, let's just see what my opponent's got. So that's tough. Tough game, but, you know, it's kind of a – Kind of a weird match, but I actually don't play Decidueye a whole lot, so it uh, it was a little bit of a learning experience for me as well. I think you know, given if I play this again, you know, definitely prioritize getting Coco out there like turn one if I can. And uh, do I discuss Patreon on here, Zach? Not not really. I mean, I mentioned the Patreon, like I have it, you know, and I you know really appreciate all the supporters on Patreon and stuff. But like all the like deck discussion stuff that I talk about on Patreon, which by the way, guys. Uh, I do have, uh, you know, I have a Patreon set up and it's in the description below, but then also I just started doing this like weekly deck discussions on Patreon for Patreon, uh, donors only. So like it's, uh, you know, if you're, you know, at the Squirtle tier or the War Turtle tier, then you can participate in those deck discussions where I show off like my most recent up to date list for a deck and then talk about it and answer all questions that are put in there about each deck. So I do that every week for a different deck. And then uh, also War Turtle subs get, you know, one exclusive video a month and it's always like over an hour, just definitely like, uh, you know, really in depth, in depth, uh, you know, look at a deck there. Uh, I kind of want to play, I think I'm going to play like one more game and I think I want to play with, uh, I think I want to play with Vika Ray. I'm just going to go with Vika Ray and we're going to see what we can do. So. Uh, thanks, Zach. Appreciate it. So, oh, thanks, Riley. Oh, and thank you guys to anybody out there who is subbed to Patreon. Thank you to everybody who donated to the stream today. You guys all are amazing. Uh, thank you, everybody who's just watching. You guys are awesome. I really, really appreciate it. It's really awesome. I haven't been able to stream for a while. Uh, my internet was kind of shaky for a little bit there, and I don't know why, but it just was. And uh, so that was odd, and I couldn't stream there for a little while. And I just started teaching again, so I've been a little bit busy but it is, uh, it definitely is fun to be back and I'm excited to be back here. And I'm gonna be moving shortly, so like everything that you're seeing behind me, this whole like kind of ugly setup, I actually, uh, I know that it's ugly. This is just like my studio, it's just what's going on. Uh, I, I actually like am, banner, man. I like the banner, all right, but it could look better, right? Um, so I'm like, I'm gonna be moving soon uh, and I'm going to be, 
Oh, yeah, we vile deck. Great. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> Should have quit while you're ahead. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, all right. You'll be fine. We could beat the we vile deck. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we could do it. I'm feeling pretty confident. So this is a, a little bit of a, oh, there's, there's the shrine already. So that's what I'm saying, dude. Shrine decks are going to be huge at Philly, uh, just for sure. Uh, and I think that, uh, oh, thank you, Brad. I really appreciate it. And really just every view counts. Like every view is, uh, just, you know, is it, is a donation in a way. So I really appreciate it. Just all the viewership, all the comments, all that stuff. Anytime you share a video, I really, really appreciate the love and support. So shrine decks, yes, yeah, shrine decks are going to be huge at, uh, at Philadelphia. I really think so. Oh, another Hoopa deck too get out of here oh why do you make me do this why do you make me play the game this way this <laughs> smiling reaction <laughs> I know. All right, this is why i will not play i just will not play vika ray uh at the reginald championships no uh here we go at the reginalds no uh let's do this sure okay that seems zero percent alex uh, I don't want to actually, oh, well, we're going to Cynthia first. Um, yeah, so let's just get one of these. I'm not going to fan club. That's just like bad. So we're not doing that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to attach there and then we're going to attach there and then we're going to, we're going to Cynthia. We're going to see what we're looking at after the Cynthia. And, oh, busted hand. Okay. Oh, no need, need to tempest. tempest. Let's just do a nice wholesome pass. <laughs> Uh, and yes, shrine. uh huh, classic shrine scenario here. So this is ugly, but uh, oh no, not oh, also crushing, Hoopa crushing hammer, hammer, broken deck, bro. Yikes. I've been talking about this for weeks. Uh, yeah, so thank you. I've been a, saying this for weeks. I know, I know. Shrine is insane. Oh, we're getting no. judged. They were ready. Oh, you still got oh, it. Busted hand, honestly. What in the world are they doing to me? This is like the worst. This is the worst. All right, so. so you got a red candy and then ultra ball and then two ultra other cards good. for a Lele. Do I have to, though? I mean, you could Tempest. Yeah, I kind of want to, though. Um, yeah, I think we just do. Yep. I had another GX in play. just feels bad, but I could get more Shadow. You think I'll rip off more Shadow? Uh, I think so. Maybe. I'm feeling like I'm going to rip off more Shadow. Broken Hoopa Crushing Hammer. Dude. Riley. Let's go. How many cards do they have in hand? Two? Oh, never mind. All right, we're not getting it. We're getting, we're getting the supporter. All right, let's go. And I haven't are... actually played it yet. I've just been talking about it, Andrew. I think I, I don't actually strong charge yet because I need to get you want to uh, another energy. energy. Yeah, so we're going to get our supporter and we're going to, oh, we're going to not be bad this time. We're actually just going to go get the lily like a proper person should. So remember that earlier when I messed that up and then I said that to never do that? Yeah, so here we go. Here's Here's us doing it correctly. So we did get uh, some very good draws there. That's good. And then we're going to start attaching that there to our Vika Volt, to our young Vika Volt. Very good. And then we're going to strong charge. Yup, yup. And then we're going to do that. And uh, we're going to attack for 120. And then we're going to start getting smashed by this Hoopa. And it's going to feel bad. And I'm going to want to quit. But we're going to see. <laughs> we're going to stay strong and see how it goes. And let's see. We got another mysterious treasure. At least there's no garb in this deck, OK? I think like so long as there's no garb, I think I can handle it. Um, next turn. Oh, there's more Sneasels, though. Oh, and they have a Cynthia. Bad, 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 bad. More so, gentlemen. No, don't, they need to not draw any cards from here on out. No cards. No cards. There's, bad, bad, bad. There's the Wevel. And they definitely need to not hit the DCE, which they just hit. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> oh, big yikes. All right. So this is uh, this is totally fine. I need another energy for my hand is the thing. Um, huh. I can Volkner. Oh, great. Let's Volkner. This is perfect. Okay, so we're going to Volkner, but I can't Volkner because then I have to retreat. So I want a Guzma. So I need to Guzma. I need an energy. I want to... Oh, geez. Um, okay, I could hard retreat and knock out the Hoopa. Then this thing could do 150 perfectly. No, that's, that's actually the wrong one. That's the other one. So I think... If I hard retreat, I don't even know. I feel like this is a lost cause. It's not a lost cause. We could totally <laughs> win. Uh, I think I hard retreat. 
I think, yes, I'm going to hard retreat. This guy's a goner anyway. He's not doing anything. Let's yeah. ball Okay. And we're going to get ourselves a Ultra Ball and a Lightning Energy. Very good. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to get ourselves another Vika Volt into play. Let's get rid of those. Uh, so let's go get another Vika Volt. Very good. Okay. So now we have Rare Candy Vika Volt. And we're going to get him into play. Sure. And then we need to retreat um, the hard way, which hurts. This is why I wanted the Shining Lugia in this deck, everybody. We were talking about that. <laughs> this, is, this is why the Shining Lugia would be better. All right, so that's fine. Let's, uh, oh, <laughs> major yikes. Oh, one Grassington. That's fine. Yep, so we're going to do that. And then uh, I think that I'm going to you Marshadow yet? No, I'm going to wait to Marshadow. I think I'm going to wait and see what my top deck is. And then I think that I just don't even bother. Uh, let's let's Marshadow. I'm going to I'm going to Marshadow. Let's let's just do it. The chat wants you to Marshadow. The chat wants me to Marshadow. I think you should. I'm going to Marshadow. I need to see like more cards. I just need to see more cards uh, because I need to like hit an energy recycler here eventually. Um, okay, so we're gonna do that. That's like not bad. Do I actually end up electrochaining? Uh, 30, 60, Maybe? 60, 60 feels fine. I resist dark, I'm gonna electrochain. Right. <laughs> and then we're also gonna strong charge to this. I think I, I two hit KO a, a Hoopa, don't I? Um, how much, click, let me see it. Yeah, let me see it he quick. does 60. Um, he knocks you out though. No, he doesn't, I resist. Right? He does 60 exactly. He does 80. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So the Dedenne is like really bad and a waste of energy, but that's fine. Uh, he was like not the play, but it's fine. He's out here now and uh, I don't mind him. So this is this is fine. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's knock this guy out. All right. He's gone. So Dedenne is right. The Dedenne is not, yes. I thought I thought that the Hoopa did 70. So I was, uh, I was mistaken there. That was my fault. So it's fine. Let Natalie play for the one time. We could, except uh, that's a Natalie call, though. I'm um, cool. Yeah, I think at this point, like, I'm pretty we're tired. Done. Yeah, we're yeah. almost done. I think this is, like, one of my last through, games. I can't halfway through I was working, yeah. so normally I would trade off. I'm just... One of my last games here. Oh, this is... Oh, my gosh. They're all... They're None of them are the... Uh, Big boys. None of them are the knockout ones. They're all... Here, take my take my man. <laughs> Knock him out. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Yeah. Take out the Dedenne. Here's the deal. Until I start going ham with this Dedenne... Um, and then they're, you know what I mean? Then they're really, okay. Oh, they're knocking their own hoopas out. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, great. So that's, uh, I think I have to actually, if I can, I have to knock out this, this Weavile, if I can. So I need to try. Uh, let's, Cynthia, and we need desperately uh, some action. We did not get the action that we wanted. Okay, I think that I just electric chain. I mean, let's let's take a look at what the deck, I think there's like no energy in deck, there's one. Okay, so I'm not gonna attach that. You're right, I should have promoted the race since he dies anyway, but I think that I'm going to, I can't get enough energy onto here. I can accelerate a grass and I could just go knock him out with Ray. That actually doesn't feel horrible. So I think that I'm gonna do that. So let's uh, let's. How? I have to hope that I don't mill my last energy in deck though. I need to. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I guess you have to hope you don't mill it. Yeah. Yeah, we just have to hope we don't mill it. Bust it. All right. So let's get that grass, and then we're gonna attach there, and then we're gonna strong charge there. Alrighty then. We've got another ray out here. So. Uh, that's fine. And then we're just going to retreat this man and we're going to knock out that guy. So, yikes. Let's go. Dragon break. Uh, 120 damage. Okay. And then obviously they can like wall me with the Hoopa and that's like super annoying, but it's kind of just a do bad, you, I mean, we're just in a bad oh, spot. One. I think I have both. I do have access to both. I just need to hit them. Nice. I need to Cynthia into one and finally hit it. I don't think that I've milled one yet either, which no. has been great. So... Uh, crush, get that. Oh my gosh, honestly, this guy. Yikes. The uh, the crushing hammer. Did Denny was only doing 60? Yeah, did Denny was only doing 60, so it wasn't going to knock It only does 90 out. with a choice band. All right. I wasn't going to knock that thing out, so 
It's uh, the Dedenne wasn't gonna get there. The Dedenne should not be in play, but that's it's fine. Sometimes you you know sometimes you make suboptimal plays. That happens sometimes. Mm. So we just need to desperately hit ourselves uh, some action here off of this Cynthia. We need to get an energy recycler like both of them, and we also need him to like never use this Weavile again because that does like way too much damage. So at this point, like I am on a clock. For sure. No, Carlo. This Lele it's, is melting. It's 30 plus 30 if you have an electric Pokemon on your bench. Right. The Lele is melting. Please have no supporter. Oh, it's just... 30 plus 30 for each electric would be so good. Oh, my gosh. Right? If it was each, oh, my gosh. Then I would just, then we'd, like, totally be in. Right. So, uh, Dedenne is knocking out nobody. He does 60 damage. So, he does knock out. Oh. He does knock out Hoopa now. He does knock out Hoopa now. Oh, he's got oh, the energy. He's... I can't imagine a worse situation. I think you're McDone for. No, this is fine. I'm going to knock out that Weavile, and he's not going to have anything in his hand. All right, so he knocks out his own Hoopa as well. Uh, All I need to do is take one more so prize. saying there's a chance. Uh, so he just took, I mean, he's, like, got he's one prize, prize remaining. Yeah, he, he's got one prize remaining. He just needs to flying flip pretty much. No, not pretty much. He needs to do more than flying flip. <laughs> he needs to do much more than flying flip. I think I'm fine. Uh, all he's got in play is that thing. So that's cool. Let's go Ultra Ball some cards away. Thin the deck. I don't deck myself. No, I'm not going to deck myself. Let's get it. You could do it. Uh, I can definitely do it. I think I get a ray. <laughs> I think I just get a ray. But I don't, I don't actually want to mill because I want my energy recyclers. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to thin the deck by getting a Grubbin. And there's like no point in getting anything else i think but that's fine we want to like i kind of want to thin i just want it so oh yeah let's go in i've already attached yeah so here we go cynthia come on come on come on come on come on, come on, come on. there's an energy cycler very good both of them busted two count right, them. so let's let's throw some energies back into the deck this One, is so yeah, sad yeah so let's throw all those back in very good and then uh i think that i need to I don't actually think that I necessarily accelerate anywhere yet. Um, um, because if he takes out any prizes, he wins. Yeah. So I fine. think that I just like wait and kind of like to Guzma something. Right. Probably. Exactly. I need to wait and kind of like figure it out because I can't give him two turns. So I think that I <laughs> actually these all have three as a retreat. I would just wait. I think I just wait. Yeah. Let's just drag and break here. And do I have a Guzma left? That's a big question uh, that I don't have the answer to. So I just really hope that I, no, yes, I do. All right, I have one Guzma left. So opponent's turn. They need some action here. They need to like hit me with a Lele in DC Lele, or something. DC, or if they Guzma. have a if they have a Deoxys, Deoxys could win them the game. Uh, <laughs> Riley, Tempest. Tempest. <laughs> uh, you're, you're right, Riley. Be I should have like Tempests. But you guys can see. Um, you guys can see how close we are, right? Like this is a deck that by all intents and purposes should just be decimating me. But it it just, uh, you know, like I think that the, sometimes the non, you know, these shrine decks can be a little inconsistent. That's like one of my biggest, uh, my biggest fears about playing them is that they just have a, high, a hard time setting up. Riley has a very spicy, uh, spicy deck with Weavile and, uh, and the, the, the father. No leaks. No leaks. <laughs> And the father, <laughs> he has the father in there. So, uh, the Drampa, <laughs> I called him the father. We do live in a Weavile society. <laughs> Riley loves his uh, Weavile Drampa deck. It's very cool. He also loves we live in a society, the meme. Uh, Garden Grove, I will show my Ray list. It's pretty similar. Honestly, the Ray lists have all pretty much like kind of evolved to be pretty similar to whatever my- Oh, Zappy Pom Poms! Oh, no, oh, sorry. Okay. It only GFC right, right. I was going to say, like, no, please do not do damage to ability Pokemon. <laughs> like, uh, do not Zapith Pom Pom. Oh, he could win with this. He just needs to hit the rainbow. Does he have it? No. He would have shown me already. Him... Or anything. Needs, uh... Oh, yeah, he's going with the rainbow. Yeah, yeah. Yikes. For me, that's my magical yikes, yikes. Swap. Don't sigh wave me, bro. Oh, he thank got God. Like All right, we got there. We got you, there. As long as your last goose was not prized. We got there. Did I say intensive purposes? I, is it intense and it's, purposes? It's intense and purposes, yeah. It's a, I think that's what I said, right? Or did I say intensive purposes? It might have sounded like intensive. I think I meant intense. I think I knew that it was intense, intense and purposes. purposes. Yeah. All right, so GG, no re, man. We got it. All right, let's 
the strong charge and get Make these. sure the Kuzma's in there. Make sure the oh, Andrew. thank you so much, Iljoba. What? I'm just going to knock out the active. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. going to hard retreat. Any chance for one more game with thank you. 12? Hey, man, for you, you got it. I'm going to play it. All right, so we got one more game in the tank. Thank you, Iljoba. Appreciate the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get in there with Electro Cannon. Awesome stuff. 150 damage. Good game to my opponent. And that's the second time that Vika Ray did take out uh, did take out the, you know, the Buzzwell, or not the Buzzwell, the Shrine deck, right? So that's like kind of crazy. You definitely have to play careful with the deck, but the deck is very good. You need your opponent to whiff things sometimes, but they just will whiff things sometimes. That's just the way that it goes. So uh, my Buzzwell list, my Buzzwell list is like kind of still a work in progress. Like honestly, this was like my first deck. I think you just deck. play Macargo over the order pads. You think you play Macargo over the order pads? That's yes. like what? And Nest Balls instead. I was just thinking And Nest Balls? Okay, so you think that you just take out the four order pads and put in like a 2-2 two -two Macargo yes. line? Yes, and then take out the Brooklyn Hills for Nest Balls. Take out the Brooklyn Hills for Nest Balls. Okay, that's fair. So let's try that. We're going to try... No, uh, no, no. Why the, why? Those are Cynthia's. Yes. Yeah, I just like meant to click Brooklyn Hill. It moved on me. All right, so we're going to try <laughs> <Really>? that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to play Vika Ray. Too many Shrine decks and Andre Machone. Uh, but then also, uh, let's see. So we don't need the Marshadow then? I don't uh, think so. And the Mysterious Treasure can go. Right? I don't actually think Mysterious Treasure is even in this list. So we're going to try, what, four Nest Ball. Energy Lotto still seems good. Oh, you might you put the eleventh energy in, which you I did didn't put the eleventh energy in. I think I you, you might not and need then, it. So then let's we'll try putting balls. in mag cargo. Oh, you know how to spell it. Very good. Oh, I own two of them. Very good. All right, and then slug <laughs> All right, and then there we go. We have two of those. So two two lines seems fine, right? And then we're gonna put some nest balls, nest ball. Nest ball, nest ball. Alone in the world is a little nest ball. In. All right, yeah, four. Okay, that's fine, yeah. Four, and then four ultra balls here, and then uh, we got a 60-card deck. Yeah, so let's uh, let's see here. All right, take a look at this list. Any qualms, Riley? Any qualms? I think we. I think this is fine. Lilies. Why are there four lilies? Since Why are there four? <laughs> I think Since I when were there four lilies? I, I don't I remember just... that being that way. <laughs> I think that's fine. Whatever. I like Lily over Tate and Liza, especially with Macargo. It seems better, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. You draw in the cards, yeah. So like that seems fine. And uh, I turn one Lily busted. That's why it's in there. Also, one Tate and Liza. Play it's fine. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the Acrobike. But, you could play Acrobike in um, here. You I, can this, play Acrobike in here. This is drawing here. fine for me, but you know, uh -huh. maybe. I actually kind of like Acrobike in here. So what would you even take out? You take out a Nest Ball, uh, Tate, Tate and Liza, Liza, a Nest Ball. Yeah. Um, probably the Field Blower. Yeah. Honestly, oh, at this point we have no field blowers, no. One's not gonna stop. You oh, I need the. Too. I need another buzzwell. I mean, at that point, I probably need a second buzzwell, right? Yeah. Um, I think uh, we could take out the energy lotto since we're like stacking our deck. Like you could do that. Uh, I think what, and then you put in. Um, what were we just talking about? Acrobikes. Acrobikes. One more card. I think you um, got the field blower. I think uh, with the you're field... not going to beat a shrine deck with one field blower and no counter stadiums. Anyway. You know you're right. I think yeah. I like a second buzzwell though. People were um, and then let's put three acro bikes in here. People were playing that Kukoi. Feels fine. Also Kukoi for what? Oh yeah, to use Macargo. In the oh. Turn. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. It's pretty good. Well, let's do Kukoi then. Yeah. I like Kukoi. We'll play three Kukoi. All right. So let's just do that. And that way I have my stretcher and I have uh, two baby buzz. So I have like an out to shrine decks. So that's not like the worst. Okay, let's do that. Buzz rock. I have two escape ropes, right? So that should be fine. People are saying switch. Yeah, I have switch. I have two escape ropes. I like escape rope. I'm an escape rope guy. All right, buzz rock. Let's get in there with a good old buzz rock. See how we do with buzz cargo. This is the first time I've actually ever played buzz cargo. So... Oh, That's yeah, first. Rangaroon, I could have thrown a Rangaroon here, you know, could have, would have, should have, but we didn't now, so that's fine. Uh, this is Buzz Cargo, Buzz Rock, and my cargo. So it's all those things, all in one. We're going to see how it goes. Ring. Interesting. We're going to turn one Lily for a bunch, though. Bet. Oh, yeah. Bet. Yeah, bet. Told you. All right, here we go. So let's uh, let's just go in with the, the baby Buzz here, and then uh, also one of these guys. So, yeah, you know, uh, I, I spaced on the Rangaroon, but to be honest, I... Uh, I don't know. I doubt you. You really don't play that many hand thinning cards in this deck. Like you might not even have that many. So, I think that this. You know, I think the deck's pretty self sustainable. You don't really with McCargo. You probably don't absolutely need it. Uh, I mean, you can like thin your hand down, then McCargo, and then a Rangaroo for one. That's good. But yes, I'd like to draw my card. That's fine. Okay, we're playing against Zork. Uh, 
Lycan Rock, which we should just like decimate this deck, I think. Uh, let's get this man out, and then let's just have our mission to go get that one Macargo. Okay, very good. And then uh, we're going to do this, and then we just get to Lily. And then honestly, if I just get another energy, which beast energy works, yeah, I got a turn to... Uh, Let's see, we can also, oh, next turn I'm going to Ultra Ball for the McCargo, and then I'm going to stack, and then Lily again. Busted. All right, so that's good. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, yeah, we're pretty, oh, I'm not going to Lily, because I'm no, going to Guzma, and I'm going to Yarden, check out my something. Neopet stream coming soon. All right, so we're just going to do that, and we're going to say my opponent ain't got it like that next turn. Uh, I probably just sledgehammer what's ever in the active, honestly, and then I just set up, uh, I set up the McCargo, and I start Lilying more things, so... That's gonna be very, very good, very, very good. So, uh, this is uh, this is actually feeling pretty strong. Not gonna lie, I, I it like wasn't, the Macargos. I think the Macargo feels good. It feels much more consistent. And then I also just really like uh, fighting Pokemon in this meta right now, except for, of course, Malamar. But then, honestly, like, be honest. How many Malamars have you played against on PTCGO in the last forty-eight hours? A lot of them. I haven't played against zero. I no, played against all zero. It. I've only played a couple of games, but every time it's been Malamar. Zero. I mean, it was like Malamar was hot like a week ago. Now it's That's all still Shrine Deck. Every single Shrine Deck. Yeah. Weavile. Shrine Deck. You know, so I feel like playing Buzzrock would just be like a nice kind of medium where you can actually combat Shrine Decks because you have these, uh, you know, you do have some things here. So I'm um, doing pretty good today. Let's see. They've got themselves. Oh, that guy there. I could just go like and rock that thing up and knock it out, though, because I have beast energy. Busted. Honestly broken. Uh, let's see here. So I think that I want to uh, I want to Ultra Ball away. I can get rid of that beast ring, honestly. Yeah, I don't really cheat. need that. I don't mess with cheats. Let's, uh, let's go knock out that rock rough. That's what I want to do. So let's ultra ball. I actually have it very easily and I'm going to do it with this buzzwell here. We're doing 60. I just need the, I just need the, the guy. So let's do ultra ball away like a rock and the B string. And then we're going to get ourselves. That's fine. I don't need those, honestly. Not right now. So we're going to do those. And then we're going to get ourselves McCargo. And then we're going to stack the Diancie on top of our deck. Very good. Yes. Okay. So that's good. <clears throat> Let's go get that person. Oh, yeah. And then uh, we need to make sure we got one, two, three. So I will be Lillying for three. So the answer is yes, I will be able to Lily into the business. <clears throat> so very good. Let's go, uh, yes, bring me bring me the rough. Give me give me that person. The best Neopet. Then we've got this. And actually, I like love this because then you also have a way to get your beast energy early, which is something that, you know, this deck really wants to do. So this is feeling fantastic. Tell you what, this is uh this is strong. I really, I really final answer. Really like this. Oh, thank you, Joseph Magnum. Thank you. Sure. All right, I'm in for Solgaleo too. Thank so you, Joseph. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. I really appreciate the donation. Thank you. Yeah, I'll throw uh, I'll throw down with uh, Solgaleo next. You got it. So we're gonna keep it rolling here. Uh, sledgehammer for knockout on this rock rough. Get in there, eighty damage. Get out of here. This should be a this should be a great matchup. Honestly, this list is feeling pretty flames. I think, you know, we pretty much also like a good matchup. But honestly, you know, should be fine. I think. You know, if the deck is drawing smoothly, space lines. Uh, you can hit your B strings and stream knockouts versus things like Rayquaza as well. Uh, right there, we would have sledgehammered a Vikavolt for knockout as well. Like we could have done that. That's two an tails. option, right? If they Oof. set up. Oh, another one. Two tails. Two tails. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say two more tails. Two more tails. Um, Oh, they're out. Oh, they're out. They're out. They're out. Space so lines. we were just about to get in there, though. Andrew never leaving. So let's uh, no, he's let's leaving do... when I kick him out for my Neopet stream. Let's do uh, let's do space <laughs> lines real quick. Uh, let's take a look at the space lines list real quick. See, let's do. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll show the I'll show both lists. We'll show the Buzzrock list. That Buzzrock list was like filthy. Honestly, this was going to be really good. I think that you probably play the Oranguru in here though. I think like two Kukui and an Oranguru seems fine. Yeah. Let's do two Kukui. We'll we'll switch that. We'll have the one of Oranguru in here. Oranguru, give me give me the monkey. Yeah, there. So put put the Oranguru in there. That's fine. And then this seems good, right? So you got Oranguru, you got a couple of escape ropes, some B strings, some Kukui, some lilies, some judges, some Guzmas. Seems good. So 
there we go. Excellent. So that is the buzz rock list that I have so far. And honestly, You're that's welcome. brand new. Thank I'm you very much, Natalie, for your concept. contributions. I'm just, so just like thinking about it. I'm gonna take a look at the space lines list real quick. Let's see Cosme. what we got going on. All right, we've got Aver- some. I don't think you play Avercorn. Yeah. I think the Avercorn. I've been like back and forth on him. I think that he's actually kind of good in here because or or fan club. I mean, honestly, is like your other. Yeah, that's what option. I meant. I was gonna say cut it for fan club. You probably but... play the fan club. Yeah. yeah. So we'll uh. We'll throw the fan club in here. Pokemon fan club. I'm looking in the wrong spot. Pokemon fan club. Pokemon fan club. All right, so uh, sweet. We got our full art. Po- we got two full art Pokemon fan clubs busted. Wow-y. I didn't even know that. So that's cool. I need a third full art Lily. Honestly, we lacking over here. So let's see. This is what the list looks like so far. That's fine. We got four Cynthia, four Guzma, Super boost? one Judge, bunch of Lilies, Super Boost, Rises busted deck. Off both fan club and. Uh... In this deck? And Avergrim. You think just fourth Nest Ball, Riley? I could believe it. All right. Yeah, you want a Lily turn one. There we go. Yeah, I, I agree with Riley. Fourth Nest Ball. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to get it. Space Lions. Okay. So get in there, and we're going to play in a versus match, and we're going to use turn the deck. Turn two, soul verse. We're going to use the deck uh, Galactic Lions, and we're going to see how this goes. Imagine <laughs> if I just talked like Bob Ross, like we were painting painting a nice picture. And we have some Galactic we have some happy Large clouds, hat. some happy clouds right up here. And today we're going to play Nest Ball and we're going to look for a Cosmo. That's what we're going to look for. Oh, play Treasures. Yeah. Uh, treasures. Oh, Riley played Treasures as well. Oh, Treasure is pretty good. So that would be, that'd be pretty hot. Oh, sponsored by Red Bull, but it's not. But I wish it was. That'd be pretty busted. Oh, we got the Charizard coin here. Let's see. <laughs> Why the Charizard? I don't know. I just uh, <laughs> ASMR. I have this. Uh, this is very funny, actually. Uh, you know, I'm a teacher, and there's a student in my class who is just like obsessed with a- AMSR, ASMR, yeah. ASMR videos. Uh, the student is obsessed with ASMR videos, and they every time they're like eating their lunch. Uh, you know, because, like, I work at a specialty school, a behavior school or whatever, so they eat lunch in the classroom. Angry. I don't know why they're giving me so many ang- – why are you so angry, bedtime puddles? But uh, every time my that student is eating, uh, they, they, like, eat, like, very open-mouthed or whatever. Like, they're doing it <laughs> ASMR. They, like, will eat next to people's ears. And it's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, this is uh, – I'm just not going to lie. You know, I'm almost 30 years old, and I'd just be watching, you know, watching that student. Like, what in the world has life come to? Uh, all right, so let's go get ourselves a nest ball here. The, um, We're going to get a Cosmo. And uh, do you mean the one with the attacks for the DC, the one with the ability that has no weakness? Cosmo. I, I, I think that's really good. Cosmog. Lone. Dust gathering. Alone in the world is a little Cosmog. Oh, Cosmog. <laughs> Did you get it? It's the cat dog yes, theme, I get it. theme song, but it's for. <laughs> Understandable. It's for Cosmog. Cosmog. All right. So, all right, guys. We didn't get, you know another pokemon that turn but that's fine we do have a turn to soul burst gx coming right up so that's pretty busted there Uh-oh. definitely like that oh yeah the, so Lilith. Angry the lily for three. Oh, something hey lily for three is Uh-oh. not the worst i mean you could definitely you're putting on the pressure now uh, i am so let's uh let's go in oh i mean oh <laughs> sorry i'm gonna take liza first <laughs> i mean i've seen you do similar things oh come on don't act like you haven't all right so we're gonna cynthia here obviously cat dog better. angry reacts why are you angry about cat dog? I don't cat, like dog cat dog cat dog is cool. Mm. Uh cat dog's very cool. Uh prove me wrong. Uh okay, so at this point soul bursting here just feels bad. Uh can I build and play Zor- Totally Toads? Sure. Yeah, you got it. Yep, I could do that. Thank you, Totally Toads, for the donation. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna need some help building Zorbanet though. I don't really have okay. yeah, I don't really I don't know what I'm doing there. I feel like do we actually? I feel like we just pass. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste a soul burst. If they don't, <laughs> if they don't have the um, oh, they got a fan club. I was gonna say. If you I was gonna say like I'm not gonna soul burst all my energies onto this guy here. Oh, they're also mad because they're playing Guardy against my uh, oh. you know, against my Solgaleo deck, which understandable, but you know. It's also also totally fine. I'm mad because you know I uh, don't have any Pokemon, which is annoying. But that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do our good old Ultra Rod here, and we're gonna select this Pokemon to go into the active position, and uh, we're gonna give him the old good uh, one-two punch here with Sunsteel Strike. Go ahead and uh, get out of my house, sir. <laughs> get out. <laughs> there 
go. That Lele is a, a goner. So uh, thank you. Thank you to everybody who's donated today. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are incredible. I mean, this, you guys are what keep me going. So, you know, I really, really appreciate all the donations, all the views. It's been, uh, it's been all a great stream so far. So I, I really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate all the love, all the donations. Hey, Amen. So, you know, we could be here all night. It's fine. You know, I'll eat dinner eventually, but that's fine. You can, you can live off PTCG alone. No, not the judge. That's fine. I finally got an ultra ball, but we don't need the judge. We're going to end up using our soul burst GX here eventually. Uh, but ideally we would have had a, uh, probably a supporter here. So infinite force, they're angry. I actually don't want a soul burst yet. We are going to do the other thing first. We're just going to go and we're going to do, I think we do this and we accelerate that like feels better. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Joseph. I appreciate it. Thank you, Joseph, for the donation. I appreciate it. That, uh, that really means a lot. I feel like, yeah, using my soul burst here doesn't feel good either. So I think that I would rather do this. Um, and I'm going to uh, just Radiant Star, and I'm going to accelerate two energies to my benched guy here. Uh, I guess, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are getting like the super reverby, uh, like, you know, feedback loop whenever the, the, the text lady like reads, uh, you know, what she's, you know, reads. but uh, it's definitely like just a super crazy, weird like feedback loop that's like happening because I haven't quite figured out how to like make it go correctly but I hope it's at least fun or funny but yeah it's been uh, it's been a great stream guys so thank you so much uh yeah it's <laughs> right uh yeah so that's that's definitely what's going on right now okay so we're about to have zero energy on us and we're about to knock this thing oh busted top deck thank goodness okay so we're gonna go here and we're gonna ultra ball our hand away and just go get ourselves a lele if there is one uh there is so good we get ourselves a Lele. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who is Wimpo Squirrel and how do they, does everybody know about the, the loops meme? Of course they do. What do you mean of course they do? I mean. It's iconic. Does everybody, okay, so let's ask the, tat, the chat. Does everybody know about you, the loops meme? Have you all seen the meme with the cat, big fat cat standing <laughs> on his hind legs, looking at the Fruit Loops and they're like, okay. <laughs> I have fluffy bones. Please, Please give, give ringlets. Loops. Right, give ringlets. Yeah, that's, uh, so, have you all seen this meme? I guess it's like new to me. A lot of people seem to know it. Yes. A lot of people seem to know it. I, it's like kind of newish to me. I'm gonna ultra ball with these field floors um, because I don't think I actually need those. Google gonna... Fruit Loops cat. You can look at it. It's right. very nice. It's it very is, pleasing image. It is very nice. Yeah. So let's get that. Um, Oh, thank you, Bedtime Puddles. Bedtime Puddles is the most angry person I've ever played against on uh, PTCGO. So does everybody. People have not seen it. Lots All right. Of, look at the Loops brother. The Loops I'm, brother. Yeah, okay. to provide Loops. All right. Give me Loops. Well, okay. For, for right now. Loops. So if you have not seen the Loops meme, Natalie, free of charge. We'll tweet it right now, okay? So I'm, I've just... But you have to all follow me on Twitter. I have to so, gain a couple followers before I can tweet the Loops meme. Natalie will tweet it right now. Uh, so you could go check her out at Natakazam. Um, yes, follow let's, me uh, on Twitter. And let's, uh, let's do the uh, the good old Sun Steel Strike for like 500 damage. Get in there. 520, knockout, busted. Busted deck, broken deck, honestly. Very good. So, yes, Natalie will show off the loops meme. That is uh, very good. And you guys can all see what we're talking about. I the will loops, tweet it out. brother. Yes. yes. The loops is a classic meme. Everybody has been like referencing it lately in our group chats. And I just like, I think it's funny that the cat is very round. <laughs> yeah, Double edged cat. So yes, I just Googled it. Very, very <laughs> oh, round. Wimper, Wimpo Squirrel says 520, blaze them. Hmm. A little bit, a little bit off there, Wimpo. So. The, uh, the Loops brother is very funny. Oh, they missed. Oh, they're still so salty because they missed. So let's uh, let's just go in. I feel like I just, uh, I, honestly, I kind of want to just get a couple different things into play here. So we're going to Ultra Ball away to Lily and the Cosmog. I actually don't really feel like I need those. All right, I'm about to And then we're out. just going to Lily for a draw. Uh, well, first of all, we're going to Instruct for two. And then we're going to Lily and see what we get. We've got a Metal Energy. That's good because we're probably going to end up using our Soul Burst GX here finally. Um, I actually could run out of energy. They scooped. Okay. Good thing I don't have to actually finish out, you know, figure out the last few turns of that. So that's, uh, <laughs> I assume salty is an Ohio thing. No, I think a lot of people say salty, right? Yeah, a lot of people say I was going to say salty. Uh, I do hear my kids say it a lot though. I guess the kids that I teach and, but I've always, I feel like I've, I've heard salty, uh, 
I've heard salty a lot, you know. I, I feel like it's a it's a thing. So I am definitely ready for Lost Thunder. That is uh that is exciting. So what do we okay, so we're let's take our let's go to our deck manager here. I actually wanted to get one more game in with Buzz Rock. I'm gonna do one more game with Buzz Rock real quick. Then I'm gonna build Bonetzo Arc. Uh, because I felt like the game with Buzz Rock they, they scooped on like turn two. So it didn't you didn't really get, you know, your uh, you didn't really get your full uh, I've got some you know, followers. Full, thank uh, you all for delivering. Oh, thank you so much. Um you know, I didn't really get to show the full buzz uh, experience here, so we're gonna do that. Then I will also show the uh, I'll show the Gu the Guardi Swamp deck. I'll show off some of the list real quick, yeah. And then I need to build and play Zorak Banat, which I will also do. And uh, you know, shout out to everybody who's donated. You guys are amazing. Uh, all the super chats have been super fun tonight. And then also, uh, like I was saying in the Patreon, you know, I got that you know the deck discussion. So that's probably the best way to get in with me for like des deck discussion right now. Like obviously I can't answer like everything on Twitter or anything like that, but I do answer, you know, everything within reason on the uh, on the Patreon wall where it's like, you know, they are, uh, you know, uh, the deck discussions every week. I post a different deck. So the last, last week's deck discussion was on Vika Ray and I was giving all my updates on that deck. Oh, we've got Hoopa Brother. Very good. Okay, so it's giving all my... Uh, all my all my input on that and kind of my thoughts on the Vika Ray deck and then next week you know I'll take a look at a different deck maybe a Zorark deck or maybe some sort of shrine deck uh, I might take a look at a you know kind of a specific look at a shrine deck that I have been working on uh, and uh, and kind of go from there so uh, what is Lost March what is that is that a new set name uh, I don't really know is that a looks like another Hoopa Garb deck first of all sad what. Second of all, Magma Ring. bro, and there are too many shrine decks out here. Too many. We're gonna Magma Magma Ring doesn't help us here, unfortunately. I, I think we do just Lily, right? Like that. I mean, that's kind of feeling like a yikes right now. But what we Lily for? We've put the choice Bando on this guy because we're not gonna need it, uh, and there's no such thing as Floatstone. We're gonna Lily for. A one, two, three, four, five, six. So five. We would Lily for three. Just three, yeah. Okay. That do we judge ourselves to four. I'm feeling like we attach the energy and we Lily for yeah, four. Okay. Okay. I can work with this. I can work with this. Okay, let's get ourselves another basic here. Um all right, I tweeted the loop. Feel sandwich. like we're gonna need ourselves a a buzz man. Okay, so let's get Away the Kukui and a Lycanroc. Let's get rid of those and let's go get ourselves that or we could get ourselves another Slugma. That is like an ultimate feel bad too though. So I think we get ourselves a baby buzz and we do that. And then next turn we can Cynthia, but like Magna Ring, uh, that, that actually actively does nothing. But I mean, I guess, no. That just actively does nothing. I feel like I would rather, I mean, but 10 damage is 10 damage. I'm going to do my 10 damage. Okay, so that's fine. So let's just do that. And we're going to go from there. And then next turn, we need to start knocking out these Hoopas uh, with their annoying, you know, uh, this, this Hoopas. We need to knock those out with an annoying Scoundrel Guard ability there. Not what I'm trying to deal with right now. They got Garbodors out. Not what I'm trying to deal with right now. This deck is annoying, but... <laughs> Natalie, Yarden says she misses you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Understandable. Lost March is not an attack name. Uh, Lost March is a new version of Night March that comes from the Lost Zone. Oh, isn't there? There's some sort of like uh, what Pokemon was just revealed where they send energy to the Lost Zone. It's, I think it's a Fire Pokemon. They send energy to the Lost Zone and they do uh, more damage for the amount of uh, energy that you sent to the Lost Zone. That actually looked kind of interesting. And uh, I think there's some sort of, it was revealed on Poke Beach. It was a fire Pokemon, I think. I think it's the, uh, is it the big electric thing or the thing with like the big ball for Blasphemon or something or Blasphemon or is it Entei or something like that. There's some sort of Pokemon where this was released. It was on, was it Blasiphon GX? I think it is Blasiphon GX. So that looked kind of cool. I think that is uh that's definitely fun this deck is actually setting up pretty good so like my opponent is actually doing 
There's a lot of new loss on synergy. Oh, thank you, Riley. I didn't know that. So that's the thing. Oh, thank goodness. They whiffed, they whiffed what they needed there. Okay. So it actually, it's kind of a double edged sword here because it's a little harder for me to actually get my Buzzwell into the active position, but I could hit, I could hit everything. I didn't, but I could have. So they also have no, uh, I think, okay couple things at work here. I think we actually go get ourselves, uh, this is kind of crazy. So like, I don't actually know if I want to get anything weird into the active position right now. I feel like I could go get escape rope, right? And then I could evolve into the this guy. I could get Orangaroo, right? First of all, let's see if Orangaroo's in here. Is Orangaroo in there? Orangaroo is in there. Is a mag, yeah, Mark Cargo's in there too. Is escape rope in here? Escape rope is in there. Okay, so we could make it happen. I could, uh, I could go get an Orangaroo. And we can Ultra Ball away Guzma and Beast Ring. That feels fine. Let's Ultra Ball away these. And then we can go get ourselves a Macargo. And then we're gonna get this thing into the active position here. So let's do that. Uh, I don't actually like really one, two, three, four. I don't like super mind keeping. Like I, I could put a Buzzwell in play. Like that's fine. That probably will come back to bite me. But honestly, if they're knocking out the Buzzwell GX, they're not knocking out my Buzzwell. So like that's that's fine here. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna evolve here, and then we're gonna go uh, smooth over and get ourselves the Escape a Rope. Let's put that thing on top. Uh, one of the situations where like, okay, like obviously, um, obviously the, uh, I should have like potentially waited to attach my energy cause I could have, right? So I should have maybe waited to see like who they promoted, but this is, it's honestly fine. Like I'm not, I don't really care that much. So it's all good. This is fine. And so they're going to give me the trubbish there. I'm just going to, yep, here we go. So we're just going to start sledgehammer. And then I need to go get myself the, um, I need to go get myself the Diancy. So I'm doing more damage. I could have waited and seen like, who am I going to, who's my opponent going to promote? Like, and I think obviously, like, I think jet punching there is just better. So I think like potentially I should have held my energy or just attached my energy to the Buzzwell GX and started jet punching. I think that that probably is better here given that my opponent just has all these things out. So that's uh, that's fine. They're gonna bring up the Buzzwell. If they got the dark, I'm like totally okay with that. I can just stack my deck again and we'll attach to the Buzzwell again. And you know, we can just go get the card that we need. I think I'm gonna go get myself a Let's see, we've got an Ultra Ball, so that's kind of good. Let's just do this, I think. Um, yeah, and then let's uh, let's smooth over, and we're going to just stack a Guzma on top. Guzma. All right, we got two Guzma in deck. In, in deck. Uh, Dustin, yes, I, did. Uh, I don't stream all too often right now, maybe... You know, kind of like, it's been a little bit of a drought since Worlds, honestly. I was a little bit, because my internet was bad, so like that was kind of, that was kind of rough there for a second. I think I just like hit into this garb here. Like, honestly, I kind of feel like just hitting into this garb. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I just try to stick this thing active and I'll make them use it at a time where they don't want to. Uh, ideally, I think I'd like to stream once a week and just get that going. Uh, but if I... You know, if the teaching job ends up going and if I'm like not a teacher here, which uh, I'm working in a behavior school right now, but I'm also going to graduate school. So like I really want to finish, uh, you know, finish graduate school. In order to finish graduate school, I kind of need to stop uh, teaching for a minute and just like finish school up real quick to get my master's degree. And I really want to do that. So like eventually I'm going to have to stop working at the behavior school. So, you know, one of these days here, I will probably just be sustaining myself off of YouTube or trying to, and maybe begging my friend Sean Lydon for a job at Full Grip. And, uh, oh, goody, they've got a whole lot of Garbodors out and a rainbow. So that's, that's great. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's doing 100 damage. Very good. Okay. I think we just lose at this point, but I don't know. You never know. Might just lose. I think that I promote the... Buzzwool, and I jet punch, I think. It doesn't feel good. I mean, we're definitely just like serving this thing 
out to be, uh, I, I'll just be, uh, to answer uh, Enzoe's question, I'll just be, oh, he's, he's saying uh, YouTube or teaching, right? That's a good question, right? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So let's, uh, let's stack here the beast energy. And then, so we would do 30, 60. Do we stack the beast energy? That would do 60. And then I could get the, uh, I actually can knock this thing out. Yeah. So I think we do that. Uh, let's, uh, let's smooth over and then see if we can get uh, the beast energy. We can. So that's that's one way to use that. Okay. So let's try this. Let's see if maybe we can kukui. So we're doing 80 now, right, which is enough to knock this thing out. Uh, then I also think that I do want to ultra ball away this hand. So 30, 60, 80, right? That's, yeah, I didn't mess up my math. Very good. All right, now let's do this. Uh, and then let's go get ourselves something not weak to, uh, yes, let's get ourselves not, something not weak. Actually, why are you doing 80? Did you go away? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think potentially another buzz wool here is what we need to kind of slow this game down. And then that, or I get the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if I get, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We kind of need that. That's good. Yep. Let's get that. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna instruct for three, and ideally we draw into a rock rough, but I mean, you know, you never know. Let's see. Okay, and busted. Okay, we're good at this game. Let's go ahead and jet punch, and then we're gonna do 30 to that guy. Okay, get in there. Jet punch. Don't hit another, please don't hit another rainbow energy. Just give me some mercy for like one turn, please. That'd be busted, please. Please, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, I think Pokey I nap. I'm gonna finish the year out. But I think like at the end of the year, at the end of the school year, once I start, um, you know, once I you know I'm kind of done with the school year this year, I'm gonna be just like YouTubing and streaming full time. So it's gonna be it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great for you guys. It's gonna be great for you know for me. And I'm gonna get to finish up graduate school too. So thank you, Joshua Carnell, for the donation. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, great stuff there. My opponent's going to go to three prizes here, so that's a little bit tough for me, but I can uh, B-string this turn and hit them with the old swing around town. So that's kind of... Best of luck with school. Seeing y'all is the best. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, let's... Okay, so we need to do this. We need to put this down and get ourselves a Kukui. Yeah. Okay, that's actually kind of crazy. Why? Because uh, if we get ourselves a Kukui, then we can instruct. We oh, we don't have one. Okay, so that's fine. We gotta get ourselves a Lily so we can draw into the cards that we want to smooth over for, which is B string, All right? Yeah, a B string. Okay, all right. So let's uh, let's get ourselves a Lily. That seems fine. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get that. It doesn't actually help me get the knockout here, which is kind of tough. Ooh. Well, let's smooth over. Let's give ourselves a B string. Good. And then I kind of need the Diancy as well. So we kind of hope we just hit like a nest ball. Uh, I don't know what he's doing with Pokenav, but you know what? He's kind of like winning right now. So it's like I'm not asking too many questions. All right. Uh, we did not. Oh, yikes. We didn't hit the nest ball or the ultra ball for the Diancy there. So that is just like a heartbreaker for me. I'm in a situation where I just need to hit two heads. Okay. Um, yeah, that's just what we got, right? We got to, all right, two heads, come on. That's not how you do it. That's just exactly the opposite, actually. That's really bad. Yep, so <laughs> that's fine. Oh, that's fine. So at this point, well played. I know, right? I know. It that's is, rude. I know, it is rude, right? It is rude. Oh, thank you, Dustin, for the donation. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Dustin. I really, oh my gosh, you guys' kindness and your generosity is just too much. Thank you so much, Dustin. You can pay me back that for $7 the you donation. Me now. I know, I, I got you. I, <laughs> hey, hey, I was going to get that. All right. So uh, I think at this point. All right. I think at this point we have to Cynthia and just hope we like compare our hand down. Um, let's promote. I know he will. I just wanted to make fun of him. Let's see. What do we have in our, how many items? One, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a feel bad. Let's, uh, eight. sure. Let's throw this guy up. We need to get ourselves into a what situation. Do do? 
Uh, I can like double jet punch both these for knockout, like uh, kind of, like that's close anyways, yeah. like not quite, but like we could. Uh, I could stack, I, I think I just need to Cynthia this turn. I also like attaching just one energy well, here. If you want to jet punch, you can do that. Right, but I don't think I'm gonna end up getting it. I think okay. like we're sacking the Oranguru and just saying like, okay, I think he's going. Um, I think I could also potentially stall them out if I get a Lycan Rock. So let's uh yeah, let's just Cynthia. I need to see a new hand. This isn't isn't going. All right. Okay. So at this point, uh, we have another rock rough. That's cool. And then I can't play everything down. I'm gonna have three cards in my hand no matter what. So we're gonna have to like Lily for stuff next turn in order to make it happen. I know the Rue. Uh, we can save the Rue actually. I can escape rope. I can escape rope now. So uh, I can escape rope and like send up the rock rough, mm -hmm. which is fine. And it might also, I don't know, my opponent might not like just have it. So like they might not be able to get out of whoever they have in the active position. They might have to retreat the hoopa or something. So that's fine. And then what do I want to stack next turn? Next turn, I want to top deck ideally a uh, lichen rock. Seems fine. <laughs> Uh, I also need an energy bad, so I think we I think we are going to smooth over and we're going to just stack a lichen rock. I think that's who we're putting on top. I also need the diancy. I also need an energy. There's like a bunch. I only have two energy left in deck. Well, There's like a bunch of things next that next turn you could you could have you could stack your deck and lily for it. Uh huh. So. Right. So we're just going to pass with that active, and we're going to see. We're gonna see how it goes. So that's uh, that's just a little bit a little bit of a tough spot that we're in. Uh, I think my opponent has Guzma here. It's pretty much game. I just would then have to hope. If they have, if they have Guzma, it is game. Oh yeah, it just is game, right? Because they would just knock out this uh, Lele here. So yikes! Yeah, that would be bad. Okay, they're gonna go in with Hoopa. So that's a. They don't got it like. They ain't got it like that. I don't actually know that I could take five prizes, but we're gonna try. All right, let's see. Uh, I think I go here. Uh, we can take a knockout, uh, so that's cool. There's Lycan Rock. That's why I put on top. Very good. And then we're going to smooth over one of our gentlemen here, one of these two fighting energies that I have left. I have a feeling that I have, like, a bunch of these prized, I think, what? fighting energy. Because um, how many do I have down? Six, seven, seven eight, you have one in the eight nine, ten. Oh, I have one prized. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, sure. So we're going to bring up the old. I think at this point we're just delaying the inevitable. Like I know my opponent's got me here, but yeah, you know, whatever. Did you not stack or did I did. You? Okay. Yeah, we put that guy up top. Okay. So that's fine. We need dangerous to dangerous rogue. rogue, and I can't. I just eventually they will wall me out with that hoopa, and I don't think that there's anything I can do about it. It's too bad they didn't keep the old Macargo's first attack. I know, right? They had an attack so, that would like, be ten and not discard a stadium. Um, old, I think that this is all I got. The old uh, I don't think that I have enough energy to actually like finish this game out. Knockover would be broken. It's just uh, it's just tough. I think that I'm just in a tough spot. The uh, the deck kind of just punishes me, so it's just a uh, just a tough tough matchup here. I think Buzzrock's a good deck. It just uh, you know there's so much of this like troll stuff going on right now. It just like I feel like you definitely. It definitely played a lot before. I'm playing a little less. It's 11 fighting, I think. I'm playing 11 fighting. 10. I'd start off I with 10, so know. I increased it to 11. <laughs> so, like, you know, now, I mean, honestly, I'm kind of figuring this all out. I thought that, you know, maybe, uh, obviously, against, like, GX decks, you're going to be hitting B-string and stuff, and you don't really need, like, you know, you don't get energy stuck on, you know, things like Macargo. Why did I get to feel? Oh, did they just have one prize left? I guess so, yeah. So that's it. They had it. So good game to my opponent there. Now we need to build a uh, Bonette Zorark. So let's uh, let's take a look at that. I'm going to get that all figured out first. And then uh, we're going to go from there. So yeah, it's all good. We're going to figure out, let's see, duplicate the Zorar Pram. Yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to edit it. So we're going to go in like this, and we're going to take out the young, uh, those guys. And then I feel like you need to play like... Yeah, we don't play these, actually, uh, I don't think. And I think you play, uh, what, Bonnet? Oh, I have one Bonnet GX. Okay. So, hello, trade. Uh, let's go to the trade. Trade. So, we're going to do that. 
Evergreen, if you ever go to a regional championship, I'm usually there. It's a great place to a uh, great place to play if you're, you know, if you're competitive and stuff like that. And then also just they're fun experiences, lots of vendors usually there. So Bennett. Oh, I GX. have Bennett's. Uh, well. Uh, I don't have my laptop. It's at my yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, let's so. see. Uh, I'm going to need cards, and uh, I'm getting uh, apply. And we want the Bennett. Bennett. Bennett GX. Let's see. So I could trade a Glaceon GX for one. It seems fine. How many Bennett GX? Are we saying three? Are we saying we play three? 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 Uh, it's probably a three, uh, two. Two Glaceons. Why do you want my Glaceons? Back off my Glaceons. All right, let's see. Uh, what do we for a Cynthia? One Cynthia. No, oh, you're not getting those. A Cynthia. That's for That's the same thing. Look, click Guzma. on the one that says GX. Okay, that's fair. All right, a Dawn Wings and a Crossbow. Oh, I have plenty of those. of those. All right, let's let it roll. There we go. Two is okay. fine. Uh, two is fine. The three. I think two is fine. Two all seems the other, fine. All the other Zorark Golisopod's playing too. playing too, right? All right, so let's uh, let's let's go back in. Deck manager two seems fine. If they're if your bonnets are getting knocked out, you're like you know you're doing it wrong. So I think like well, don't we? Hmm. I think like three actually could be good because then you could like maybe triple bonnet in a turn. You would need to like escape rope and Guzma, but like you could do it. Yeah. That seems that seems busted honestly. Do you play? Do you have to play? Uh, I think you play Moonlight Stadium and Rainbows and give your guys free retreat. What do you think about that? Then you can double Bennett. Mm, I guess. What do you guys think? All right, Did what do you guys think? Damage on you at that point, too. Right, we were playing Rainbows, so like we, yeah. we're definitely moving it. That's fine. Uh, what do you think? But you don't have to have damage on the Bennett. It moves it from anywhere, doesn't it? On your field, I think. It moves it from... Is it, let's, is it, uh, it might be all, yeah. I think look, it's one of your Pokemon to any other Pokemon. Right, so I let's think. look at the... Let's look at Bennett. Okay. Once you're, you, if this Pokemon is you're going to move from one damage from one of your, one Pokemon to another Pokemon. So, okay. uh, it's like, so niche, Andrew. Don't trade away your cards. Yeah, just two is fine. All right. All right. I don't know. I just think it'd be fun, man. It'd be fun. All right. That's fine. We're going to play two Bonnets, and we're going to play a bunch of these other guys. All right. Did you Bonnet. Just, did you take apart the Zoropod? No, I duplicated it. Oh, okay, good. I was uh, going to say, don't do that to him. Who's the other guy? That's, a, sh that's a Shuffle. All Shuffle. right. That's, <laughs> just kidding. Um, all right. And then also, guys, I think it's kind of funny. You know how there's like all the, um, there's all the uh, the Pokemon. Like some uh, Piplups have 60 hit points, some have 70. The 60 hit point Piplups are all going to be like relevant soon because there's that supporter coming out, right? That like uh, Professor Elm. Yeah, Professor Elms, Elms. So I think we don't play these, and I think we do play that other gentleman here, the Lele, the Fairy Lele, right? And then I think we t we just play this, right? Like we got to, got to, got to, got to. So we're gonna play like at least one of those, and then uh, what else? We got rainbows, uh, Mewtwo EX. No. All right. No. Is there anything? Somebody's asking if the oh. damage counter. Okay. Uh, let me know, guys. Rainbows and maybe a couple psychic if you can. Is there any? Is there anything else in this list that I need? Okay. So we've got enhanced hammers. We definitely still want Acerolas. Is Kakui still relevant? Probably. Um, do we? I don't, don't hmm. know if you necessarily need it, but it's. Probably what good. is this? Discard supporters? Yes. So, you probably want more, yeah, you probably do want more supporters. supporters okay, so we do want more supporters. So, I mean, Kakui is good um, as like a supporter to just discard and get out the way. Uh, what about like, do we play uh, Kartana GX? Ooh, we could play. We could play Kartana GX. Do we play uh, TV Reporter? Guys, do we play TV Reporter? Can I play no. TV Reporter? No. What about Sophocles? Just play another Cynthia. Can I you play? play a fourth Cynthia. Can I play Sophocles? Fourth Cynthia. How about a Sophocles? Anybody? Can anybody? Can I play a Sophocles? <laughs> hey Riley, be nice. Uh, we also another are gonna never gonna want to pal pad, pal pad, right? Yeah, uh, probably not. We'll another, probably another fan club or something. I don't know. Another fan club? Yeah, you could trade them. Um, I think we don't need the pal pad, right? I think we don't need <laughs> people. Don't no, don't don't put Sophocles in here. Uh, Baby Buzz and Cartana. Okay, I like oh, that. Cartana. Yeah, Cartana GX. Um, I think we take the pal pad out, right? Because we want Lana to heal with rainbows. Okay, that's an idea. Um, okay, so I actually like the Kartana. Let's do that. Um, so we'll we'll do that. I and fan club. Kartana. Do I need a... Uh, keep the pad. I'm out of room, man. I'm out of room. Uh, what else do I take out then? Uh, we only play what's meta. 
Uh, what do I take out for the the pal pad? The pal pad is good. Timer ball for the Olivia. Could take a timer ball out for Olivia. Timer ball is super good though, just to like set the deck up. Honestly, uh, I think I would rather have the. I think the Cartana is good. I'll I'll leave the Cartana. I'll try them out. You know, you got rainbows. I kind of want a fourth rainbow, um, in my opinion. But that's four rainbow and baby buzz. That's what I'm saying. I kind of want a fourth rainbow, <laughs> and then I kind of want. Excuse me. You could have choice band. I don't know if you really need three. Yeah, that's fine. Pod needs Pod three. needs more, yeah. So then let's do a baby buzz here. And then we'll uh then we'll kind of just ship it. Let's see. Uh, I am typing baby Get into there. Yeah. Switch. We just need buzzwall. Buzzoli. Switch. Oh, okay. You guys are right. You guys are very right. Okay. Nope. So let's uh that Cartana. Well, to give yourself uh your Bonnet free retreat so that you can you can retreat into Bennett no, or whatever. No, I'm talking about the the Buzzwall and the Cartana and stuff too. Okay. Yeah, I'm so, talking about Switch is good. I don't. I switch is good. So we do. Let's take out the Cartana. Right. So let's take that out. We have two enhanced hammers. That's good. Uh, Devoured Field just like helps us hit 130, which is like relevant against some things I think. Um, and also like you just saw like having a counter stadium is also good. Uh, so. You might not and, need a stretcher. Uh, what the one? Stre the stretcher. And Pod was like for like the Dene and stuff. Right. Um, and I guess I could get Lele or I could get that Buzzwell back, back or just like odd random things. I like one stretcher. So, and I think that uh, uh, Acrobike, ooh, we can play Acrobike in here. I think that Alter is better than Devourer. That's what I was saying. I think Alter, Alter could get you that free retreat. Uh, no, cut and enhance, not the cart. Okay, Riley. All right, fine. Uh, can I play Alter of the Moon? That's my final question. Can I play Alter of the Moon in here? I think Alter of the Moon seems good. It just seems better, in my opinion. But I don't, I don't know. You guys, let me know. Um, let's uh, let's put what do we put an enhanced? Oh, we'll put the Cartana back in. That's what we're doing. Okay. Um, escape board's good. Let's see. Yes. All right. Do I play Alter, Riley? What do you What do you think? Um, let's see. Cart. We can put the Cartana back in. I mean, because then you could do those big brain retreat plays. Hi. Hi, Ke Kevin, getting in there with the hello. Hello, Kevin. All right, that's fine. I'm shipping it. I'm doing Altar of the altar of the Doom. Let's go. You have, three, you have another spotting to, to put in. Yeah. Three Altars of the Doom. All right, one <laughs> uh, one also Tate and Liza. Ooh, Tate and Liza get you a Switch. Playing a Tate. I'd rather just play a Switch. I feel like Tate's another supporter, though, getting the discard file. So, that's fine. Of course, Garden Grove, of course. All right, we're playing the Tate instead of a Switch. Let's go. Uh, it is hot. I'm playing a Tate to get me some more switch, go. switchy switches. Let's try All right. it. We're going we're gonna to try it. All right. This is Zoropod Pram Bonnet version 1.0. All right. <laughs> Zoro Bonetti. Zoro Bonetti. Let's go. Thank you for the donation, Garden Grove. Really appreciate it. Uh, it's a, my pleasure. Thanks for playing so long and answering my questions. My pleasure answering questions. No problem at all. It's a nice deck box. Oh my gosh, I, I, I <laughs> oh will not, no. I will not, I will not. Sorry, that's like ultimately like, re all right, we're gonna deck play box. with a nice, we're Look gonna play with a nice wholesome coin though. Let's get that Decidueye coin in there. Deck box, how many deck boxes do you guys have? And do you have this many? I feel like I, I feel like I have some you like have that many. very randy I ones. I have lots. Do you have more than me? Yes. Dude, look at these. Shining I Legends I scroll forever one. to get to the color. Do you really? The energy deck box, yes. I've... Let's put them in the Mega Swampert deck box. <laughs> All right, and then also this, use... and then card sleeves. All right, we're playing in something oh, fun yeah. today, guys. All right, look at how many card sleeves. Oh, these are epic. Oh, these are fun. Okay, all right, let's uh, let's go in with the... Uh, the meshing gears, please. The, no, we're going in with oh. these, like, very obnoxious sleeves. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 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 um, that's what I'm saying. Do my opponent super intimidating pregame. Yes, Carl, that's what we're going for. Uh, the intimidating pre they're gonna see the mega swampert deck box and they're just gonna run <laughs> like all right i'm out zach attacks yes if i do ever uh when i'm done you know teaching uh and focusing on grad school i will probably be looking into coaching so that's something that we're going to be doing eventually not quite yet right now i just i don't even have time to like you know uh do anything really so <laughs> it's just uh you know, right now it's not a... Uh, Zoro Swampert. Zoro Swampert. Dude, we should play Zoro Swampert. Draw our whole deck. Dude, look how boss these sleeves look, honestly. All right, we do play uh, We play a fella in here, right? We can go get ourselves a fan club. And we can ultra ball away the not the enhanced hammer and the... Riley would tell me rainbow, uh, probably. Yeah, 
probably the rainbow. We're going to ultra ball away these guys. And we're going to go make get sure ourselves. Make sure the fan club's in the I way. honestly just, I don't even feel like in fan club. I just feel like going in. It's like a net one. If I Cynthia and like hit, I think I'd rather, I and mean, I have the guaranteed supporter for next. Let's get, let's get fan club. We're going to get fan club. Yeah, All right. Yeah, sure we're, yeah, we're going to do that. All right. Bingo. We got it. All right. So let's go. Let's go. We are, dude. We are. It's not all. All right. It's not always worth. Just sometimes. In this situation, it is definitely worth because we already have the Cynthia for next turn. Woo! We didn't have the Cynthia for next turn. It's not always worth. So uh, sometimes, and also there's like four nest ball in the stack. So like sometimes. Trickster. Carl's right. Trickster. Trickster. What? Oh, I should just attach to the active there. Yeah, Trickster GX. Uh huh. That seems Copy pretty leafage. good. Copy leafage. <laughs> Let's get ourselves, what, one of each? That seems fine. A puppet. Um, and is, all right, a shot puppet in Azura. Okay. Thank you. Um, so let's uh, do that. And then what? We need to get supporters in the discard pile, right? So that's good. For our Bonnet to do more damage. Good stuff. All right, we're going to do that. And we're going to get an attachment onto that Bonetti. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. And then uh, it's your turn, my guy. So we've got two supporters in the discard pile so far. Dankus. Oh, Dankus, you coming? You guys coming this weekend? Oh, yeah. Party. Party, party. Going to be doing some play testing this weekend, figure out our decks, and get all ready for Philadelphia Regional Championship. So pretty stoked on that. It's going to be going to be a good time. Oh, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Natalie, just... Uh, you have to give me $2 in cash now. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize this was an ATM. But that's... <laughs> I opened my phone and they were both up. It was up, so I was like, you know what? I'm that gonna is try very it. fun. Nice. Oh, thank you, Natalie. So the Natalie just super chatted me from literally right here. Uh, I will, uh, you know, no those those two dollars are mine now. So that's just uh, <laughs> your loss. That's my tab. Uh huh. Yeah, you can get those two dollars when the revenue comes in on the sixteenth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Dankus, why are you not going to Philly? He's coming over this weekend. Oh, I am excited that you're coming over this weekend. Nest ball, nest ball. <laughs> Blowing in the world a little nest ball. All right. That's funny. All right. I don't care what you say. That is, that's humor. All right. So we're going to go in with a, another Zerua. We're just going to get another Zerua out. Why did I not attach my rainbow last turn? Did I just like, I just stopped thinking for a second and like just decided not to, but. I don't know. Uh, that, that's fine. Stop uh, with the cat dogs. Uh, stop with the cat. <laughs> I agree. Um, oh, yeah, this apparently I you did not. not that uh, so let's just go, let's knock that rod out. All right, we're gonna trade away, trade, and we're gonna get rid of a, uh, you know, probably gonna get rid of a Kukui. That doesn't really seem like a card that's gonna matter in the near future here. Let's get him out of here. And then we got Timer Ball here. Let's go do that. Let's get ourselves some more Zoroks. Another Zorark. Fail. Sometimes you fail. That's fine. Uh, we're also going to trade away the, I want to trade away like supporters, but honestly, I'm just going to trade away that ultra ball there. See what we get. We got a Rangaroo. All right. We're doing enough to knock this thing out. So let's just knock you out. Hunter damage. Good stuff. Good stuff. What deck did you use at the fifth place world spot? Who got fifth place at worlds? I don't know. Uh, Evergreen says when they were in junior. Oh, nice, Evergreen, congrats, that's amazing. So that's that's awesome, so I didn't know that, it's great. Yep, sometimes you do just fail your timer balls, that's unfortunate. So I should force my opponent into trying to take a GX here so that I could just go to Hammer Town. That would be great. Honestly, Buzzwolf, Sledgehammer, and the play doesn't always work, but when it does, feels good, feels good. So my opponent's getting lots of Zoroks out, Kind of ignoring the the rallets for now. I mean, they started one. They had one on their bench. I mean, it's like I feel like the the decision why doesn't really start to add up until like oh thank you Brandon more cat time. Uh, nest ball, <laughs> nest ball. <laughs> Alone in the world was a little nest ball. All right, so we're gonna trade away Cynthia. Thank you Brandon for the donation. You are the man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it, appreciate it. More All right. cat dog, please. Dude, I think cat dog. Uh, cat dog is one of those shows is like very kind of like I love to hate it, hated to love it. Uh, but I definitely watched it. So we've got Guzma this turn. We could Guzma or we could Acerola and just hit. I feel like we just Acerola and hit. 
honestly, that's fine. Or I could actually I think a Guzma and I kind of just like bait them to take those two prizes. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's Guzma up a, a Rowlet, sure. It's gonna be annoying to kill once my opponent actually gets going here. So, oh, and the, this guy's weak to dark. I don't know what in the world I'm even setting him up for. We don't, we definitely don't oh, like yeah, get him okay. going. Yeah, I like forgot like space that he's like weak to dark, like totally. Um, right, you haven't evolved it yet? It's yeah. Fine. I know I'm like a little out of my ordering here. Like I should be, you know, trading before you, yeah, but this helps me think clearly. Uh, I think, don't. yeah, we don't, <laughs> don't do it. All right, so we're gonna not real quick. Uh, don't bench the buzzwell if you're trying to bait him. Now he can see through your schemes. That's fine, it still puts him in a bad situation either way, so I don't really care. Um, and uh, that's, uh, that's appropriate. Okay, so I'm just gonna knock out this thing. Uh, I guess my thought process was that I don't have a free retreater, so I wanted a way to get the buzzwell active, but it's, uh, it's not the easiest thing to do. Let's ultra ball, I actually don't want to trade anymore, so let's just uh, ride a speeding. I was thinking about getting another Zorak into play, but I'm not, I actually kind of like everything in my hand right now, so I'm gonna sit like a little bit longer. And there, there we go, we got a Zorak, so that's great. Timer ball is definitely way better if you only flip heads, agreed. Definitely, definitely agree there, so that is good. You got a Hoopa Unbound oh, card, that that's pretty cool. I need to cool. to donate blood for Memphis. I'm gonna try to. They're doing their blood drive at Memphis on Friday. Oh yeah. I want to sign up and donate blood. So. Can you or do you like pass out and stuff? No, I'm fine. Oh, you're fine. They usually turn yeah. me away though because uh -huh. I have low iron, but I try every you time. You try every time. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Confuse Ray asks, uh, not Confuse Ray. Who is it? Uh, oh, I am Penguin Zombie asks, would teaching Pokemon TCG be the ultimate job, or do you enjoy public education teaching more? I actually don't enjoy. I'm not super into public education because I'm, uh, you know, I'm doing special ed right now, and so I I enjoy that more. Uh, personally, and um, I think teaching, I mean, working YouTube, doing creative stuff, I have an art education as well, so like utilizing my art education, it's a digital art education, so like doing video stuff, doing graphics, all that stuff, making content here. Uh, see you, Carl, thank you for the donation, appreciate it, man. Uh, is all, that's like really my passion as well. I've been making videos since I was, uh, Let's see, we're gonna trade here. I've been making videos for YouTube, honestly, since, I'm gonna trade away the Bennett. Since I was in high school, since YouTube came out, I have been, what's up? Riley. Do you have an art degree? <laughs> uh, they uh, they literally like give, this Saturday. They give me a hard time for this art degree literally constantly. So <laughs> that's just uh, that's just a reality as well. I had to remind them. Uh -huh. So we're gonna trade a bunch, have a huge hand here. That's good, okay. So now I have Alter, but that doesn't really do anything. I feel like I could Guzma something else that just feels lame. Oh, I think I kept the Palpat Thanks, out. Carl. So that's like, uh, that's kind of a, a tough situation as well. I think we just hit into this thing with Riotus beating. Uh, he's probably gonna want to take my Buzzwell here or take one of these Zoroks eventually. If he doesn't, that's fine. At this point, like I'm already in the prize lead. Uh, I just need to let my opponent take a GX, and then hopefully I can find myself one of the young rainbow energies there. Uh, I could have Ace Arola one of these. I guess I probably should have done that. Uh, admittedly, yes, I should have Ace Arola. Uh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right, guess. Riley. I should have Ace Arola one of them, but that's fine. We didn't. I just want him to take a knockout at this point. When he takes a knockout, you know, then I will Ace Arola. So I should have done it last turn though, but it's fine. We're we're fine. We're here. It's all good. So. I just like really wanted him to take one. I really wanted him to. So, and then I can really sledgehammer. So we wanted him to like. He can to really sledgehammer. We, I, I wanted him to consider. Not just regular sledgehammer. Really, really sledgehammer. sledgehammer. I wanted him to consider zero other plays for this turn other than to take a Zorark. <laughs> uh, that's what I wanted. So I'm going to be totally You're just gonna fine. You're going to miss the rainbow. I'm going to be totally fine. I'm not going to miss the rainbow. We're going to be fine. Now, uh, we should have Ace Rolled last turn. Technically, yes, we should have. So like I just. Uh, it's kind of being a little bit of a space cadet here. Taking a look at the discard pile. We got one. So I have should have three rainbows left in deck. So we're going to take a look here. I'm going to like nest ball or maybe, you know, nest ball, take a look at my deck, see what I got going on in there. I don't think that I'm going to end up using this Altar of the Moon this game, but that's because I'm not playing the Bennett. I think the Zorark Bennett, though it is very good, I think it's just a little bit sketchy right now because of how many Zorark decks are out there that I think that you're pretty much best off just playing a Lycanroc or a Galisopod version. 
So let's go. Let's go, Buzzwell. Let's let's get it. All right. Get it. Get it. Okay. So we need to. Uh, this is a little bit of an all-in play. Uh, first of all, we could slice off. Ooh. But I can't do it with Nest Ball. I, I know that. Okay. Uh, so we're going to need to find ourselves a rainbow. We got three in the deck. Okay. So let's go here. What what's, gives us our best odds of hitting it? Okay. I think we Nest Ball. And I'm just probably going to fail. I don't actually want to bench any of these things because that all is bad. So done. We're, we're not going to Nest Ball any of these. We are going to uh, rescue stretch. Well, there's no point in rescue stretching yet. I think we Ultra Ball for something first. So I am going to Ultra Ball like two of these away. I'm going to go get myself something out of the deck. So I'm just going to go get myself like a, eh, we're going to get ourselves one of these. I don't know. What if all things go wrong and we just need to slice off or something? That, uh, I guess that's a situation that could happen. All right, we're just going to get that. And I'm going to start trading. And we're going to, yeah, I should have base rolled last turn. It's fine. Uh, we need to trade away, let's trade away the Cartana. Oh, you're already banned. Mr. Invisible says you're cooking dinner tonight. I'm cooking dinner tonight, huh? <laughs> All right, guys. Yikes. We need a rainbow energy. Uh, I don't think that there's any other way to thin my deck more, so let's let's just go in here. And then, all right, say I whiff. Oh, my God. Do I Kukui here? Or do I Acerola? All right, so at this point, we... Uh, why'd I kill him? Oh, should I have not have killed him? Um, let's see. What is right? Oh, clear his path. To, how does Cartana? How does Cartana set up Cartana the clear path? Cartana is kill. How is Cartana kill? <laughs> how does Cartana set up the? <laughs> you said why'd you kill him? Oh, okay. Uh, I could rescue stretcher it back. I just like I don't know. I'm just thinking. I'm thinking in overdrive right now. I feel like I need to Kakui into it. Um, like I've really put myself out here. I'm not Guzming and hitting into something. Uh, I really need to Kakui and just like. Just off top. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got it. God, I'm stone nice. cold at this game. God. Honestly, <laughs> no problems here. Uh, this is fine. Ripped it. Ripped it. Yep. Never we were punished. Oh, we are never punished. Honestly, never punished. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Shuffle three Pokemon into the deck. So we're going to put the Cartman back in. We're going to do one, two, and the Cartman back into the deck. Very good. Okay. We're going to do that. Uh, and then we're going to Nest Ball, and we're going to go get ourselves. Uh, I'm doing that, Riley. Yes, I'm doing oh, that. Him. <laughs> no, he's just looking out. He's just being a good friend. Uh, no, he's being a good friend. I should have ace a roll this last guy. turn, like a uh, you know. I should have ace a roll last turn, like a reasonable human. But it's fine. We didn't quite get there, but it's all good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's fine. We're we got there with the buzzwell. Thank goodness uh, we got there with the with the <laughs> with the Kikui. Wish I could have done that in top eight of Nats 2017, but it's fine. It's fine. Not, not Guys, still. and your top eight in Nats, in case you're wondering. <laughs> and you lost. You just needed a DC. Off a of Kukui. Off a of Kukui. <laughs> and and was, also in a Shaman. It was the third card. I got to Shaman, and I set up, and then I didn't have the Guzma that I, or the DC Guzma that I needed for game. I had Verse Seeker. You can watch Seeker. it on YouTube. I had Verse Seeker. It was Lysander, actually. You can, you can watch it. Ah! So I had to, I had to do the... Uh, you're right, Riley. I should have sequenced properly. I played. I actually sequenced my last turn perfectly. I just hadn't. I hadn't sequenced. I hadn't attacked with the right Pokemon the turn previous. But it's fine. You know. Hey, uh, you know what? Uh, it's all good. There were a lot of misplays on both sides of that stream. It was very there, fun. There were. Yeah. Yes. This is all good. So he's gonna take the knockout here, and then I'm like actually kind of fine because then I can just I can just like poke with Sledgehammer again. Hope he doesn't have a way to heal again. And then, uh, you know, then we kind of go from there and just try to Guzma for game. So that's kind of what we got going on here. I don't think that my opponent has, and they have not set up any Decidueye. So, like, that's totally appropriate. Like, we're Gucci. No problem. No problem. Guys, I sequence right all the time, okay? All the time. Oh, busted top deck, honestly. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Um, let's see here. Actually, it's not. It doesn't help me at all. Let's see, because I want to, I think I want to Cartana. Oh, I want to Guzma, then Cartana for game. Duh. Okay. I'm not going to focus. This. I see it now, Riley. I see it. I see it. Okay. Um, so we want him on, in play now, though. Um, but I, I kind of don't want a nest ball for him. And then, because I haven't GX'd yet. So I think I want to, like, use him. 
So let's just uh, let's just fail that. Okay. Let's uh, let's trade. A one. Away a uh, the lele seems kind of pointless. Sure. Let's trade away that. I think it was a little bit greedy not just getting it, like getting the. Uh, uh, should I play yeah, a supporter Guzman. this turn? Guzmanak, aren't you going to Guzmanak? I am. Gu yes, 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 yes. That's the that's the plan. Yeah. Um, so Rowlet I think we take a Rowlet. Uh, you can't do it. Right. Oh, you could do it. I'm taking the Rowlet. All right, we're going for this. And then I don't really want to play any other supporters. Honestly, this guy's a pretty good chance of winning right now. If that Guzman is situ, why it's over. Uh, oh, yikes! You're right. So that is kind of rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even see that rally, but you're totally right. Uh, I think I kind of have to Guzman. Yeah. So let's just let's just do that. Yeah, right. So I did it already. We're in. Yep. You're right, Riley. He might actually just have it like that, but you know, he might not. He's played like a lot of cards. Like he's, you know, he'd have to have the rare candy decidueye and a Guzma. These decks don't play a lot of Guzma, and he has two down. So like he'd have to have his third Guzma. But he did send up the. He is going for it. Uh, he's definitely going for it. I love Cartana. I yes. It's one of my favorite Cartana Pokemon. is a good wholesome man. So let's he's hope he ain't got it like guy, that. Man. So I think this game, uh, probably Riley would have all been fine had I not, uh, I, the dope thing is that I can actually, if I can actually get my nest ball, I should not have played that nest ball and looked at my deck, but uh, because then I could have like Acer rolled this buzz wall retreated and just done it. Please don't have it like that. I know, I know I can, right. But I need to actually, I should not have gone and, and got the, uh, I should have not played my nest ball, right? I played my nest ball to take a look at my deck. Oh, he's got rescue stretcher. Does he have it though? He had two trades. He's still got ten cards in deck. How many rare candies does he have down? Probably none, because he probably hit one. One single. Yep. Oh, here's the decidueye. Is he slow rolling me? You slow rolling me, sir? Do you have it? Maybe this is as fast as as the computer goes. I just feel like it's taking forever on my side. But <gasps> come on. Come on, he ain't got it like that. He ain't got it like that. Not like that. Oh, he do have it like that. Good game. All right, that's game over. Does he have a basic? Don't have a basic. Does he have basic? No basic. Come on. He didn't have it. He didn't have it. He's too short. Woo! He didn't have the basic. Okay, so now we need to you find... Can win. You win. You put a basic down and you can bring I just the Guzma, ring yeah. I could just, yeah, 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 I win. I don't even need the Cartana. I want the Cartana, though. Don't, uh, we're gonna, just do it. Okay. <laughs> we're going to try and hit the Cartana. All right. We're gonna, he ain't got it like that. We we're going to hit the Cartana. We're going to hit that Cartana. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's, let's go. Let's go. Bring up somebody. Bring up the Decidueye to disrespect him. <laughs> let's and go. And then blade you. Yeah. Let's go. Get it. All right. First, first we're going to yes. And then let's Guzma. Bring up the Decidueye. Disrespect. Disrespect. <laughs> Cartizzle. All right. Cartizzle. I'm, I'm really glad that we got in there with the Blade, Blade. GX. Blade GX. All right. So Lele the Lele. He's a Lele, yeah. He's a Lele. Oh, good game to my opponent. That was very close. Very well played. Good stuff. I can't believe I, I uh, just brain farted on that turn. I didn't ace roll on my second uh, Zorark. But that's fine. That was cool. It was a lot of fun. So, you know, thank you guys, everybody, so much for uh, donations, for everything like that. Uh, if there's any lists that you guys wanted to see real quick, I think people were asking to see the Guardy Swampert list real quick. So I could show you Guardy Swampert. I could show Empoleon Swampert. These are all decks that are, like, a work in progress. It, you know, honestly, it's, like, pretty close to, you know, like, whatever, you know, kind of the core of the deck. Uh, I'm experimenting with the Max Potion and the Ace Roller right now. You know, you could play other cards in those spots. Like, I do... You can go to 7 Fairy Energy as well if you want some, like, counter stadiums and stuff like that. You can also play a third Lele there. There's just some options. People wanted to say the Swamp Polion list. Uh, Swamp Polion. Swamp Polion's busted, honestly. It's a good deck. I like the deck a lot. It's a little bit, you know, temperamental at times. Uh, setting it up can be extremely uh, tough, but I do like it. Uh, I like it as a deck. It's a lot of fun. I think it's one of the best non-GX decks there is, uh, for sure. You definitely just hit some, like, you hit some pretty crazy knockouts with the deck that just <laughs> seem kind of... 
<laughs> it seemed kind of nuts. Strict no uh, Decidueye Zorark. Uh, this was Riley's doing here. I think I might have added two field lore. I'm not sure, though. But, I mean, 42 field lore. It's, uh, you know, I yeah, because Riley had four judge in here and something else, maybe a separate a second Apricorn Maker. But uh, Riley says he's off Apricorn Maker. So I agree. Apricorn Maker's been, like, a little bit, uh, been a little bit underwhelming. So it's, uh, it's not... You know, yeah, I'm kind of like back and forth on it, honestly. It's like it's good, and then it's a, uh, you know, and then sometimes you're like, I, you know, I wish I'd had other cards in the deck. And, uh, yeah, so let's see. Apricorn Maker's fine in the deck. I thought you said you were off Apricorn Maker and like everything, right? I thought that you thought you said they were off. I will not play that card in any non Zorak deck. Oh, and I guess Decidueye counts as a Zorak deck, huh? So it does, it does count. But anyways, thank you all so much uh, for everything. It's been a great night and uh, I got to get some dinner and stuff and, uh, you know, take care of myself a little bit before going to school tomorrow. So thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure to, you know, check out all the links in the description below. Everything that helps keep this channel afloat. Really, really appreciate it. And good luck to everybody at Philadelphia Regionals. If you're heading to Philadelphia Regionals, we'll I'll be there. there. So it'll be a lot of fun. So have a great day, guys. Peace.